Love our listeners, Andy. Oh, yeah. God, we've got some good listeners. Uh, and, and if you're listening now, you're one of them, <laughs> and thank you, and we love you. A guy called Nath emailed, and he said, got a bit of a challenge for you guys. Yeah. Andy, get a copy of The Trading Post. I've done it. Got one it's right here. here. Flick through and uh, and pick any item you want. Call that number, and now it's it's my job here as Hamish to, without actually asking the person on the other end of the line, yeah. what are you selling, I have to figure out with five questions what the guy is actually selling. Okay, <laughs> so Andy, you pick the pick whatever item you want. Pick an item you think will stump me. Okay, I've got one here, and it's, I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> so I've only got five questions, and after I've, I've said five questions, <laughs> I've got to jump in with a guess. Yeah, exactly. You'll, uh, for people at home, you'll hear a chime. I'm going to play a chime after five, so then Hamish has to guess. I mean, and pe- feel free to play along in your car too, or you know, wherever you are. But I've selected an item from the trading post here. Can you I've, tell me what section? No, <laughs> no sections. <laughs> That's the game. Okay. And uh, I've given the number to Giggling Ben and Haim. You've got five questions yeah. and then you have to guess. Okay. All right, the number's going now. Do I get... Is there a name? No, there's no name. It is dialing, so... They often say a name. No, yeah, there's you're never allowed a, to give me a, a, There's no name. When do they ever say a name? I think they say names sometimes. Oh, well, I've got the paper and it doesn't look like that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Chris here. Yeah, g'day, Chris. It's uh, Michael here. How are you going? Michael. I'm just going about your trading post ad. Oh, yes. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, I'm interested. Yeah? Just wondering uh, how old it is. Oh, uh, actually, I really don't know, but it, oh. it looks very modern. Okay, okay. Uh, it's got a tiny... It must have been put in a garage somewhere because it has a very tiny, and I mean tiny... Uh, touches of dust, okay. of, of yep. rust. Yep. Do you, uh, but you, 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 you find hmm. it hard to find them. Do you reckon uh, I've got a station wagon? If I came over to pick it up, could I fit it in the back of my station oh, wagon? No problem at all. Really? Good. That's good. And um, what's um, is, is it much loved? Has it been in the family for a while? Uh, no, it hasn't. It, 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 it looks new to me. Does it? it? There's not a mark on it apart from the, the rust that I told you about, rust specs. Yeah, uh, it doesn't have any... Um, it doesn't have any power cables with it, does it? No, no power cables at all. It's very simple. It's lightweight. It's got a carry strap, uh, and it falls easily. And and um, does it have batteries or anything? No, no. It's very, very simple. It's got about one, two, about five cushions on it. Uh, they, they look new. So it's a, uh, it's the a, bright it's blue, and the uh, the bodywork, all the framework is uh, quadrated uh, and chromed. It's very well put together, actually. So it's a it's a lovely um it's a lovely chair. Uh, it, it looks good to me. It's a modern chair, a modern. And it is a chair. Well, well it, no, you kind of kneel on it and, and you lean into it, haven't you? Ever, have you ever seen a, a massage chair? It's a massage chair. Yeah. <sighs> okay, yeah, no, well done. Um, okay, no, thank you, Chris. Uh, let me have a quick think. I'll, I'll give you a call back. <laughs> it's not quite what you wanted. You, you were thinking of, like, of an electrically operated thing, were you? I guess so. You got me? You got me, Chris? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, bye-bye. Ciao. Did Chris get you or did I get you? Oh, dog. <laughs> I panicked. <laughs> I got it, though. It's a chair. Yeah, no, it's a massage chair. How <laughs> was I going to get a massage chair? It's a massage chair. <laughs> We're excited about this, Ham. This is, this is a lot of fun. We started this segment last week mm. where one of us picks an item from the trading post, doesn't tell the other person, yeah. then calls the number and it's... It's, uh, it's the other person's job to try and guess using only five questions what the item is. For instance, last week I picked one for you, didn't tell you, and when the fellow picked up who was selling the item, you had to ask him questions that you couldn't say, ask the question, what is it? I found out that it would fit in the back of a station wagon, didn't need power, it had a bit of rust on it. Your guess was a chair. Unfortunately, it was an ergonomic massage chair, so I couldn't give you the points. That was deemed a fail. <laughs> Today, Andy, it was your go. I was wrapped with the item that I found in the trade. Post, you have five questions mm. to ask whoever picks up. You can't ask them what it is, but you've got to figure out in your own time and play along at home what it is. This is out weird. <laughs> Hello? 
Commander Imports, Alice speaking. Uh, g'day, it's uh, Andy here, mate. Just uh, requiring, uh, inquiring, sorry, about the uh, trading post ad you put in. Yes, Andy. Yeah, just uh, wondering when uh, you purchased it. Uh, you're going to have to enlighten me a little bit here, Andy. You've got to get a little bit more... Sorry. Tell me what you're talking about just, first. Just, just how, how long ago did you... Just in reference to your ad the tra- in the trading post, how long ago did you, uh, did you purchase the item? Andy, I have no idea what you're talking about. I purchased what item? Oh, sorry, the, the, the item you're selling. I still have no... What are you actually after, Andy? I've got no idea what you're talking about. Just what you've uh, put in the trading post there. Right, well, tell yeah. me what i put in the trading post. What do, you, what do you want to know, Andy? Well, does it need to be powered? What does, Andy? Your item in the trading post. Yeah, but as you know, I've got about five items in the trading post, Andy. What are you inquiring about? Just the most recent one placed. Well, and that would be? Would I keep it, it in, Would I keep it in a garage? What are you talking about, Andy? What? What? You seem to be very aloof for some reason. What are you? What are you, item are you inquiring about? Just the one straight out of the trading post today. Right. Yes. What would that be? Just, just the one in the trading post. Andy, what are you actually? Are you ringing from a company or something? I don't understand what you're on about. I just want to. I just wanted to know right. whether. I would what need... item would you like to know about? <laughs> The one in the trading post. Ben Ickham, there's five of them in the f***ing trading post. What are you talking about? The most recent one placed, the one I've yeah, seen you're today. you're talking Get <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't work. I think, I think it's safe to say that's a fail. <laughs> That's unfair! Oh, mate, yeah, she got you five questions. What's your guess? What do you think it is? Homebrew kit? Banana lounge? What do you reckon? I think it's a chainsaw. What no, is it? No, it's a, uh, it's a vibrating massage machine. I reckon anyone could have got that. It's exciting. We've been having fun with this. This is the segment formerly known as the Trading Post Mystery Item Guessing Game. Mm. That was a little bit too complicated. We took suggestions last week on what this should be called unanimously. Yeah, almost. Yeah, which doesn't make sense. But a lot of people, mm. so it was nearly unanimous, suggested Tell Him He's Dreaming. Tell Him He's Dreaming, a bit of a homage to the great film The Castle. We love it. We haven't thought of it, got an opener yet, but that'll be ready for next week. But the segment is now called Tell, Tell Him He's dreaming. dreaming. If you've not heard the segment before, how it works is today it's Andy's go to pick an item out of the trading post. Yeah. Doesn't tell me what the item is. You're about to put the phone number in, and uh, yep. I've got five questions. Mm. To ask whoever picks up, I can't, I can't ask what is it. Then I'll sound a chime after five questions and you have to uh, have a guess. Got to put my guess in. Are you after ready five for it? questions, play along at home. Let's see if we can get the item. Uh, I got you last, uh, the week before last, with an ergonomic massage chair. <laughs> uh, I'm very, maybe I've gone the same. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do I have Six a seven. name? No names. No names. Actually. No, no names, no names. I bet there is a name. Hello? Yeah, g'day, it's uh, Mike here. I'm just going about your item in the trading post. Oh, hi, how are you going? I'm just wondering uh, how heavy it is. Sorry, how heavy it is? Yeah. Oh, gosh, I wouldn't have a clue. I'm not sure whether it would be able to be posted, though. Really? So just a bit yeah. bigger than posting weight? It's huge. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, is it safe safe for kids to be around? Um, yeah, unless they knock it over. Okay, yep. And um, is it costing you much to run it or to operate it in any way? Or no, no, not, not, at, not at all. I've um, snapped a string which I have to replace, but it's about $36 to replace the one string, and that's about it. So it costs $36 to replace the string, but apart from that, there's no operating costs? No, not at all. Is it, um, it's not flammable at all, is it? Oh, it's wood, so yes. it would be. And, okay, so would you, um, would you take a hundred bucks for it? No way. Because it's a Definitely loom. Definitely not. Because it's, it's a loom, isn't it? Sorry? Is it a loom that you no. w- weave things on? No. No, no. What? What is it? 
an instrument, a musical instrument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, the cello. Yeah. It's the cello. Not yeah. a loop, not a loom. Uh, okay, I'll have a quick think about it. Okay, thanks. So, what was your name again? Sorry. Kate. Kate. Thanks, Kate. Bye. 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 <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> loom. Who's selling loom? Too big to post. <laughs> Time for Tell Them They're Dreaming Ham. It's uh, it's fast becoming our favourite game. We do it on a Thursday. Here's how it works, Andy. I have in front of me a trading post. I'm about to select an item yeah. out of it. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You don't know. We put the phone number into uh, into the system here. We call the person. Mm. When they answer, Andy, you've got five questions and only five questions to ask them. You can't ask them what it is. Yep. You've just got five questions to ask them about the product. Then a chime will sound and I have to have a guess based on the information I've gathered from my questions. Play along at home. Nobody has one yet. Nobody's <laughs> figured one out yet. Okay, hey, you've got an item? Yeah, yeah. Here I don't know go. what it is. Here's the number. We're putting it in now. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, g'day, it's Danny. I'm just uh, inquiring about your item in the trading post. Yeah? Well, um, if I bring a mate around, would um, him and I be able to lift it and get in the back of my car? Yep, basically uh, they're uh, 12,000 pounds. Uh, they weigh, there's two types. Uh, they, there's one that's got synthetic rope with a, a housey fair lead. Oh, yeah. Um, and they they weigh about 22 kilos. Yeah. Or you can go the cable with the, the, the standard fair lead roller assembly and they weigh about 45 kilos. Can you? All right. I've got a dog. Would it be dangerous for me to operate it around the dog? No. No? That's cool. Could I could I keep it outside? Yes. Yeah, weatherproof? Yeah. Do I have to service it regularly? Yes. Yeah, how regularly? Once every 12 months. Oh, yeah. And um, what kind of... Uh, you, you were talking about leads before, so that just will... That just comes out of what? Where do I plug the lead into? On the battery. The battery? Of uh, yeah. of my car. Yes. Do I? Um. So, um, did you buy it new, or do, how long have you? Did you buy it new, and then now you're selling them? No, they're brand new. They're brand new. Okay. Yeah. It's brand new. Um. Okie dokie. I. So I guess I will come around and uh, think about purchasing the um. Uh, the b- b- tire. Pump, battery powered tire pump for the for the for, for my four wheel drive. This is Hamish and Andy, isn't it? It is, but what's the item? Hey, <laughs> what's what what's the item? I thought, I thought you sounded familiar. <laughs> what, what's what's the item? Hey, what's the item you're selling? Do, do we need to worry about the item? Well, I, I don't he's, know. He's got it wrong, Andy. Did you reckon it was a, a battery I thought, pump? A ba- I thought it was like a a, a, a tire pump for um for uh, that you can, I could connect to my car battery. What is it? <laughs> Winch. You'll be able to. It's a winch. <laughs> I, I should have got that. He's a 12,000 pound winch. He said cable. Yes. Oh, jeez. Sorry, who's speaking? Ben. 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 Really well done, Ben. You were cagey. True. You were, you were professional. You didn't give anything away. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and and you've robbed Andy of a victory. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Ben. No worries at all. See you, mate. Thanks, Bye. Mate. Bye. True. That's How really did you not me. get it from different kinds of wire? They said cable. What I love was, he must have really confused you because you said, how much does it weigh? And he goes, well, there's a 12,000 pound one, meaning, obviously, the braking strain on it. <laughs> not, not that it weighs 12,000 pounds. I, know, I was like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> Things that can winch 12,000 pounds. <laughs> well done, Blake. Tell them they're dreaming, Ham. I am going to go out there and say this is maybe my favourite segment. And uh, <laughs> this week it's my go. Yeah. You've got a trading post. Yep. You've selected an item. I've been going through it. I'm I, really excited I about it. I don't know what the item is. Yep. You're going to put the phone number in now. Call this person. Mm. Uh, in only five questions, mm. I can't ask exactly what the item is, but I can ask five questions about the item. Then you'll hear this chime... And you have to have a guess based on the information you've gathered. Play along at home. Hopefully I ask good questions and everyone can uh, everyone can get the mystery item here. <laughs> okay, the number's going in. Hello? Yeah, g'day. It's, uh, it's a Steve here, mate. I was just going about your own in the trading post. Oh, 
yeah. Um, it's still here. Is it? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually not selling it. It's my mum who's selling it. Oh, right, okay. Well, mate, uh, I was, uh, look, I was hoping to paint it. How much, how much paint do you reckon I'd need? Well, it's cloth. Right, yeah, so I was just sort of going to dye it. So, a couple of litres? Oh, probably not that much. Nah. And it, it, it doesn't make um, it doesn't make any noise or anything, does it? Um, no, nah, it's like a, you know, it's an adjustable... Um, yeah. A, I mean, you probably know what, what it is. I don't know. I'm just yeah. looking at it here. Yeah, no, no, I know, I know exactly what it is. But, sorry, um, uh, what, what brand is it? Do you know? Um... Adjust the adjustable, the... Yeah, I'm just trying to have a look at it. I'm just looking at it. I can't... Doesn't have a sort of a prominent brand? I can't see anything. Hmm. It's got dials all over the thing to, you know, adjust out the waist. Oh, yeah. It. Oh, right, okay. Um, I was... Um, look, I was actually thinking of using it on a boat. I've got uh, a houseboat. If it fell over the edge, would it float? Probably not. Oh, I don't know. It's, it seems to be plastic. It might. Does plastic it? Plastic with a metal frame. Plastic with a metal frame. Yeah. And it's got all the adjustable things on it? Yeah. And it's made of cloth? Yeah, well, it's got like a steel stand up the middle and then it's like, you know, the, like the body of it's kind of mm. plastic with like a, a grey cloth over it. So, yes. Yeah. And um, how much? Uh, how much is your mum asking? Do you know? It's... One hundred and fifty bucks. Does that sound right? One hundred and fifty. Yeah. Yeah. It, it looks looks brand new to me. And it's um, it's uh, and it's a dressmaker's uh, like a, a dummy that you you make dresses on. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, that's um, that's bloody great news. All right, sorry, just wanted to uh, check that. I'll um, I'll give you a call back. Okay. Great. Thanks. No worries. Sir. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! It is a dressmaker's dummy because it has a torso. It would bloody float. It's made of cloth. It is a dressmaker's dummy. Isn't it? <laughs> Crap! It's the first win! It's the first it's win! It's the first win! Tell them they're dreaming. Here on the show, <laughs> formerly the training post game. Here's how it works, Andy. It's your go today. I have a training post. Here in front of me, mm-hmm. I have selected an item. Right. You do not know what the item is. No. I'm going to enter the phone number here, yeah. and when the seller picks up the phone, you've got five questions to ask him. You can't ask what it is, yep. but based on his responses to those five questions, then a little chime will sound. Mm-hmm. You have to just come out and guess what you think the item is. After I've gathered the information from the questions. All right, you ready? put in the number. I've got a good one. <laughs> Shane speaking. G'day, uh, Shane. Andy, mate, uh, speaking. Just uh, wanted to uh, inquire about your item in the Trading Post. Yeah, that's right. Um, I'm a builder and I've, I've built two houses in Mon Albert and they were on our original house. Were they? Um, they're right. good, what, what's, very good what's... quality. They're not, they're not no rubbish here. Oh, good, good. Uh, uh, what's, the price, what's the price you've got on it, mate? Uh, I think it's 1900 but I'll negotiate on that. 1900 And And um, I was thinking of... Um, Putting them in my beach at my beach house. Uh, so yeah. will the salt will the salt water affect it no, or the rain? They're fully, they're fully galvanised. Fully galvanised. That's um, that's good news. Um, how many people I need to get it into the back of my ute? One. Just I can lift it myself. No, I'll give you a hand. All right, two of us will get it in though. Yeah. Do you have yeah. um? Do you have a what sort of ute have you got? Uh, just a flat tray truck, mate. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. No, I've got one of those too. No, you know, some of those fancy utes you wouldn't put them in it. No. Nah. But uh, I'll definitely get it in my flat tray. Yeah. Um, do any of the parts need replacing? No. Good. Nothing. You've got all the you've got all the locks. You've got all of the the um, the handle things. That, you know the snibs. Do I? Uh, you've got the the pins that go up and down on the bottom. Okay. Uh, you've got you've got the mounting, the two mounting bars on either side of the big gates. You might have to paint them or get them powder coated or even galvanised because they're not they are not galvanised. Might I? All right. But, but that's nothing. Um, uh, look, it's just good, Nick. <laughs> That's good. What can I say? Um, so my, my kids could go inside it? How do you mean? Well, just go through it. Like, uh, the gates are fine for my kids to go through it. Uh, well, certainly, yes, but they won't get through the bars, no. They won't get through the bars. That's good. Um, so I guess, yeah, so I might um, come round and, um, and try and pick up the, uh, the, 
aviary that you're selling or the the, the gates of the big uh, the big is it a um, is it like a, a shed a small shed you're selling no no what are we talking about here I'm talking about two gates two gates yeah and two side gates yeah and two fence panels these are all uh, galvanised they're just gates just there's gates no, there's no shed or anything <laughs> okay alright damn um, okay thanks very much I'll get back to you what do you, just before you go, what mm. does it, uh, did you make a mistake or did uh, the trading post make a mistake? I think I've made a mistake. Oh, so you were after an aviary. I thought I was. I definitely <laughs> thought I was. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, thanks for that. You're welcome. Okay, bye. -bye. bye. bye. <laughs> he even really he kind of told you what they were I know, but, I but you got too fancy <laughs> with all your mind games and your kid my kids fit through it they're just gates that's all they are just gates <laughs> <laughs> undefeated <It's> true <laughs> time for um tell them they're dreaming yep andy we uh we didn't get to it last thursday because no. we were in afghanistan and uh they did not have a trading post there mm. that we could read. No. Uh, but now we're back. And if you've not heard this game before, here's what's about to happen. I have picked an item. How do you feel about the item? Very good. I've, I'm confident today. You shouldn't be. I've picked an item mm. from the trading post. I'm about to enter in the number uh, for, the, for the seller. Yep. When it connects, Andy will have five questions he's allowed to ask. He can't ask what the item is, but he has to ask five questions about the item. After five questions, a chime will sound, and uh, then I have to guess based on the information I've gathered from the questions. Yeah, what you think the item will be. You ready? I'm, I'm ready. Great. <sighs> Very confident today. Hello. Uh, yes, g'day. It's Andy speaking. I was just ringing to inquire about your uh, ad in the trading post. Uh, what can I tell you about it? Well, um, first question. Um, yes. Is it um, easy enough for my five-year-old to use? Easy enough for your five-year-old? Look, this is um, actually a professional one. Is it? Is okay, exactly I didn't... Yeah, no it's worries. Right. Yeah. Oh, look, I'll be using it mostly, but just uh, in, in case little Mitch wanted to have a go, I just thought I'd... Oh, um, look, um... With supervision, well, of course. You probably need, look, what, to put it together? Yeah, yeah. Um, five-year-old? Yeah. Is he a real camper? He is a bit, he is a well, bit. Well, if he's a real camper... I he mean, might be able, able to do able it? To work it out. Oh, great. Well, and um, how long will uh, will it last? Well, I actually don't even know that question because I only bought it last... I only bought it last year. Okay, that's helpful. I, I don't... Look, the whole thing is, it's like in you. I've only used it once, twice, and pulled it down. Um, how much is it advertised for there? I don't have the uh, ad here at the, at the moment, yeah, mate. No, Sorry, I, I just had your number. Um, I'm including walls in this. The walls, are you? And yes. it would, um, how, how, how much, how compact does it fold up to being? Okay, I'll give you an idea. I can take it. Everything's got back, every, the, um, say you wanted your little one to pull it along, it's on wheels. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Look, I got this, um... Any, um, uh, when I when I went when I tried to buy it, I was trying to get walls, and it was just damn hard to get walls. And I got walls for this. Good. If you're a real enthusiastic about this sort of stuff, you could use it as a a market stall. I could, couldn't I? Yeah, Which you is, could use it yeah. as a market stall. Are there any parts on it that I have to replace regularly? No, not really. Providing mm. you know, like I mean, obviously there's going to be wear and tear over the years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I don't think you know. But, but it's like a, a material, isn't it, on the outside? It's. Um, Nylon. Nylon. Well, mate... Like um, nylon material. Well, I should probably pop around and have a look at the uh, big uh, camping tent uh, you've got there. The big uh, the tent, that the dining camping tent you've got. No, I don't have a dining tent. What is this it? This is a gazebo. Oh, shit. Um, I, no, fine then. Okay, I've got the... I've gone for the, uh, the wrong thing there. Sorry, mate. No, this is a gazebo I'm selling. Yeah, yeah, yes, it is. you made it uh, uh, clear. I th okay, thank you so much for your time, and I'll um, I might get back in contact. Bye. Okay, bye. That is so annoying. I was very confident with. <laughs> you can't camp in a gazebo. <laughs>
<laughs> a gazebo is a totally different thing, mate. It's got walls. Everyone in their cars would have thought that it was that that it was a tent. No, no, it's got walls. Yeah. You know, the walls aren't necessarily included. That's a gazebo. A tent is not a gazebo. The judge <laughs> has spoken. Yeah. Andy Lee, you are awarded no points. Sit in the corner. You're with Hamish and Andy. <laughs> Tell them they're dreaming. We love doing this. It's otherwise known as the Trading Post game. And, Hame, it's your go this week, which means I had to pick something out of the Trading Post, an item, not tell you what it is, but you have five questions once we ring this person yep. to ask them, and then uh, based on the answers that you gather... I have to guess what the item is. I can't ask what it is. And I'll tell you what, Andy, I'm going to up the stakes a bit. I've got a very specific question at the end. Yeah. I'm going to ask, I'm in a band. Can I use it for the band? Okay. If it's, it's you know, there are some items that that would fit really well for. Yeah. It could undo me, but it could also get me the win. I won't say anything knowing the item today, <laughs> but we'll uh, put the number in. A chime will sound uh, after five questions. You'll know you have to have a guess. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, g'day, mate. It's Jack here. Uh, look, I'm just wondering uh, if I can uh, inquire about your ad in the Trading Post. Yep. Yeah? Uh, just, yep. Uh, just wondering uh, if it's got any uh, rust or damage on it. Or is this it? is our carbon roof ones. Yeah. Yeah, D- no. Brand. Good, good, Nick? Yeah, they're all brand new. Oh, great. Um, I've, I've got a bit of a clumsy dog. And he's a bit curious. He, it's got any sharp edges near the bottom? Um, or? No, it's all edged in timber. All right. That's good. So he can't cut himself or anything on that? No, I wouldn't think so, no. It's, is it the current model? Sorry? Is it the current model? The what model? The current model. Is it the latest? Yep, or? Yeah, it's, yeah. Oh, good. Good news. Um, how, does it, how does it sort of differ from the previous models? Was it just what, better features, I assume? Um, well, we've only had the one sort of model that we manufacture like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it says, good. Yeah, okay, great. Why you make question? Them. Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to use it for my band. I'm in a band. Would it be suitable for band use? A rabbit hutch. We're a small band. Very small, yeah. No, I, uh, you know, I was just going to to store stuff in. <laughs> Look, mate, thanks for that. I'll, uh, I'll give you a buzz back. Sure. <laughs> I was never going to... I was never going to get rapid <laughs> We're a tiny band. <laughs> We play a lot of gigs in a hutch. Tell them they're dreaming, Ham. Here's how it works if you've not heard the show before. Today, Andy, it's your turn to yep. call someone. I have picked an item out of the trading post. You don't know what it is. But I'm going to put the number in the system now. We're going to call the person. You've got five questions to ask them, mm. to ask to the seller. And based on their answers, after five, a chime will sound. Yep. Then you have to guess what the item is, just based on their responses. I'm confident. I'm very happy with my questions today. Well, then you're deluded, because this is impossible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll put the number in. Hello? Hello, I'm just uh, ringing to inquire about your ad in the trading post. It's Bill speaking. Yes, yep. I've, I've, um, actually, my husband's actually not home at the moment. Oh, you might, you might be able to answer a few questions yeah, for I me. I might be able to. Yeah. Um, is it for outdoor use only? Uh, yes. It's very big. You wouldn't be able to put it inside. <laughs> oh, that's what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. Yeah. Um, it, will I be at, I've got a trailer, though. That's what I was hoping to pick it up in. Oh, yeah. You'd be able to pick it up on a trailer. It's not that big. It's... it's, it's yeah, it's been on a trailer. Great. That, yeah. um, that, that, that is good news. Yeah. Um, how many of us will it need to get on the trailer? Oh. <laughs> uh, well. Should I bring two, two blokes? Yeah, I mean, that, yeah, that would be, yeah, that would be plenty. It's actually stainless steel. Is I don't it? Know that, it's in the, I think it's in the paper. I've actually been away and my husband put the ad in, but it is stainless steel uh, and the ends are... The prop, yeah, the proper antique, um, furfy, not, uh, yeah, the furfy, ta- yeah, ends. Furfy. Oh, oh the furfy yeah. antique ends. Yes. 
Okay. Okay. Um, what's the grip like? Is it comfortable to hold? I have no idea. Like where you where you use it? Where you where you using it? Is it comfortable to hold it? What do you mean where you're using it? I, I sorry, don't know what I mean. Um, hold. That's fine. Um, what type of servicing does it require? None. None. Good luck. <laughs> um, I guess I'll pop round and uh, and pick up a an old uh, plow, an <laughs> antique plow that you're selling. It's not a plow. What is it? It's a water tank. It's water. <laughs> oh, it's a water tank. Uh, well done. You got me. You did get me. All right. Thanks for your time. Bye. <laughs> 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 you, you hit a few dead ends with some of the questions. Good one. <laughs> How much servicing? None. Oh, I know exactly what it is. The only thing in the world that doesn't require servicing. An antique, a furfy water tank. That, furfy? That was I've never brand. heard of furfy. You know where the saying comes from? Oh, you're selling me a furfy. For no. some reason, that has something to do with this 1941 vintage water tank, <laughs> which you did not guess. <laughs> Tell them they're dreaming. The trading post game. Yep. Uh, Haim, this is how it works for brand new listeners. First of all, welcome. Welcome. But uh, today, I will pick an item out of the trading post. You don't know that item, no. but when we ring them, you've got to ask the person five questions, and based on the answers from those five questions, have a guess. A chime will sound after five questions. Are you ready to go? I am ready. I've got some good questions, Annie. And last week I went with, uh, or two weeks ago I went with, I'm in a band, would it be good for that? And the guy said, no, it's a rabbit hutch. Mm. And that did me, that undid me. Mm. I wasn't going to get rabbit It was a long shot. It was a very long shot. I've got a similar one today because I really think if I can get a very specific question correct, it'll help me. So I have a very (laughs) specific question here about my profession. Wow. Yeah, yeah, good. Well, let's uh, put the number in and see how you go. All right, what is this item? Hi. Yeah, g'day, mate. My name's Neil. I'm just calling about your ad in the trading post. Yes. Uh, just, um, just wanted to know how durable it is. Uh, it's very durable, actually. Oh, great. It's, it's a good little unit. Oh, terrific. Um, it's not rusty at all? or nah. doesn't, no, no, nah. No rust on it, on the metal? <laughs> no, no rust at all. Anything it's just got is a little couple bits of splash paint from the, um, like the cover boot that goes over when it's newborn. Yep. Okay. So that's the only thing wrong with it. Um, yeah, good. Oh, thank God. Uh, that's good, because I've been looking at a few and they're a bit dodgy, so that's good to know it's uh, in good nick. Uh, yep. I was wanting to put sort of um, fake wooden panelling on it. Um, I've got about five square metres of that. Could I panel it with that? Um, I'm trying to think what you're trying to do here. Just trying to give it a wooden appearance. Just it could be temporary. I might not even do it, but if I had five square metres of material, could I cover it with that? Um, I don't know. You probably want to... I don't know what you're trying to do with it, but if you want to come down and have a look at it, you're more than happy to do that. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Look, I'm actually I'm actually a dentist, and right. I was going to have it in the surgery. Would that work? Probably not. No? No. What colour is it? Grey. Is it? Okay. Um, look, if I... Would I, am I are we talking about... Um, are we talking about the golf bag? It's a pram. It's a pram. It's a pram. Yep. It's, it's a, a pram, pram, isn't it? It's a pram. Yeah. Thank you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty bloody close with golf bag, though. It wasn't bad. I think <laughs> I heard someone whisper. It's a fish. Do you know what I thought he was selling, though? You know, he said something. He said something about a newborn. Yeah. Then I began to think it might be a cow. It might be a baby cow, and that's why he didn't understand that I was trying to wood panel it. <laughs> hey, Fish and Andy, a big fail for you, mate. The game where today, it's your go, Andy. Yep. I have picked an item out of the trading post. I think it's an obscure item. You've got five questions written down in front of you. You can ask the seller those five questions. You can't ask them what it is. No. You don't know what the item is. No. But after the fifth question, I will sound a chime. <laughs> and then you have to guess what the item is. Now, I'm the only one that's ever won this game. Yeah. It's 1-0. I am going for a different approach today. 
Well, and, you'd uh, want to because so far your approaches have yielded 100% failure. Okay. <laughs> uh, the number's going in. Okay, you Let's, ready? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely ready. Okay, well, you won't get it, but good, good that you're ready for <laughs> failure. <laughs> Swinging. Hey man, Gold Search Australia, Tony speaking. Uh, g'day Tony, it's David Grohl here. I was just uh, ringing about your ad in the trading post. Uh, looks like I've got it sold. Blake rang um, this morning actually, um, but until I've got the actual money, <laughs> I don't say anything sold. <laughs> All right, well I might ask a few questions about it though. Anyway. Yeah, yep. Um, I'm, a, I'm an artist. Right. Uh, sculpturist, yep. and I was thinking of uh, sticking a barbecue on top of it, like an old big steel barbie. Would it take the weight of a, of a barbecue stuck on top? Stuck on top? Yeah, I'm just going to weld it on top. What are, what are we talking about? I just, uh, just look, that's all right. People don't really get my art sometimes. So oh, oh I, yeah. no, I get what you mean. <laughs> yeah. It's all right, yeah. Um... I see, yeah, I see what you say. So with the stem and everything, so you want it standing upright. Yeah, with a barbie on top. That's right. Um, look, they're, um, they've got a plastic lower stem. Yeah. Um, it would so probably... So probably have to probably have to reinforce it a bit. Yeah. Um, okay. That's all right, I can do that. Can if do. it was directly on the stem... Uh, In the middle. It probably would. But, That's great, Tony. But listen, um, you wouldn't... Uh, is there any particular machine... Why would you... Um, That's all right. If people, I, like, I'll, I'll just keep going through the questions I had. I know this, it sounds so silly, but that's... No, 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 that's, no. no. I, I get what you mean now. It's all right. Yeah. I just... <laughs> Just trying to get my head around it. That's all. That, that, that's uh, that's not a problem. Um, <laughs> does it come with any uh, attachments to it? Um, well, again, it ha- it'll have a um, eleven inch search coil at the bottom, right? As far as attachments, well, it has a carry, uh, uh, has a backpack and everything. Have you got a picture of the machine? Or no, no, I haven't got a picture of the machine at this stage. But that's all right. Where you put it? Where you put it on? Is the is the grip worn at all? Um. No. Uh, Won't need replacing? No, not really, no. Okay. Once I've finished with it, you know, I do like to hang on to all my pieces uh, after I've disassembled them and photographed them. Um, would it fit in the laundry cupboard? <laughs> yeah, all right. Then. Um, <laughs> yeah, I get it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm being set up, aren't I? <laughs> so what's... <laughs> Yeah. Would it fit in the... Sorry, Tony. Would it, is there a problem? Yeah, you can fit it anyway. <laughs> yeah. A bit vague there, Tony. Sorry. Yeah, mate. I think... Uh, what, are you going to have a big nugget underneath the... Sitting on a big nugget or something like that? Um, well, it's, it's that's more abstract, to be honest. Oh, though, isn't it? Um, right. But, but yeah, okay, that's great. So that, that's, uh, that's my question there. And then mm. as far... How... Um, so with the backpack part... How how old is it? Oh, it's probably that particular model. It'd be uh, one, two, three, four, about five years old. That model. Yeah. Mm. I'd say. Um, Donuts. Oh well, maybe I will. I, I mean, obviously, let us know if this other bloke picks it up. But uh, I, I might be interested in the um, the metal detector. Yeah. Well, I uh, yeah, I'm sure I can. <laughs> I'm sure I could supply you with something. It is a metal detector, isn't it, Tony? <laughs> it is, isn't it? It is, oh, isn't it? Is, it's a metal detector. Yes! Right? <laughs> that is great news. Thank you, Tony. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Tony. This... Oh, you sucked me in. No, for no. Two minutes. No, what do you mean? I didn't. I didn't suck you in, mate. I won the game. Um, I, I I didn't actually know that um, what the item was when I rang up, and through five questions, I managed to determine what it was. I see. Right. That well, was the there game. You go. You're pretty clever. Thank you, Tony. I'm what very... do I get out of it, Tony? You get nothing, Tony. You let me down. <laughs> this is sorry. That's Hamish in the background, Tony. Um, I'm not sure whether you've ever listened to our show, but it's Hamish and Andy here. How are you going? Yeah, really good, well. Tony. Good. Uh, look, I picked your item. That the game is Andy has to ask five questions, uh, and then based on your answers, he had to try and guess there was a metal detector, and I thought you had him on the ropes, but he's managed to pull it off somehow. Good on you. Hey, Tony, you're a champ. 
<laughs> and I'm a and I'm a victor. Nah. Well, oh. Hey, listen, you owe me a Jim Beam and cake or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send it to you, Tone. It's, it's in the mail. Look out for a soggy envelope. <laughs> Good on you. Good on I you, mate. Tone, bye. <laughs> See you, mate. <laughs> yes. Settle down. Oh, no. That was an easy one. Wasn't an easy you one. You got lucky. Yeah. Shut up, Hamish and Andy. Go to a song. <laughs> Time for this. Is it golf balls or cheese or a sewing machine? Cause in tell them they're dreaming, it's not quite what it seems. That's yeah. the brand new jingle <laughs> for Tell Them They're Dreaming, the game we like to play with the training post of a Thursday. Yeah. Here's how it works. It's my go to guess today, Andy. You have got a trading post in front of you. I You've certainly do. Selected an item from the trading post. I have, and uh, Ham, you get to basically put that number in the system. You don't know what the item is, but you've got five questions yep. and, uh, to ask of the seller, and based on the information you gather, you have to have a guess. The chime will sound. Hey, I know this goes against what we normally do for tell them the dreaming because normally we don't tell anyone what the item is, so no, people can only, play along. I know, but today. I'd like you to go outside. Really? Because I think it might be funnier if the listeners know what the item is before we go into it. Okay. Re- all okay. right. You've, it's a change up. <laughs> it's a it change not be too hard because it's one all. No, I know it's one all right. at the moment. All right. um, okay, Hamish. Leaving the studio. Hamish is leaving the studio, everybody. I am going for a house. I, a house is the item. I've waved him back in. Yes, right. okay. Listeners now know what the item is, Ham. Because if it, it, there has to be an item, you can't just yeah, be no, like, oh, no, I've called an... my dad <laughs> and he's a mute. <laughs> no, it's an item. Okay. Good luck. The number's going in right, right. now. Hello, guys, speaking. Oh, g'day, guys. Jack here. Um, I'm just calling about your uh, ad in the trading post. Hi, uh, yes, yes. Yeah, what would you like to know? Oh, just, um, is there any rust on it? Any what? Rust. Is it not, is it damaged in any way or? No, no, no. Do you know what no. I mean? All yeah. right, great. Um, good news. Uh, it's in good nick. I've, I've, um, I'm, I'm going to keep it in, inside. Um, and I've got a, um, I've got a quite a sort of a clumsy dog. Does it have any sort of sharp edges that he could get himself into mischief with? Um, are we talking about the same thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I just, it's got any sharp edges on it, or is it relatively safe to have a dog around? Uh, I, don't, I don't understand what you mean by... Well, I guess, I guess just hopefully it's got no protruding bits that could hurt the dog. No, I yeah. don't think so. All right, great. How does it, um, how does it differ from uh, the other models? Um... I don't think we're on the same page, actually. No, well, I'm just, I'm just, sorry, I'm just trying to get a, a clear, uh, just sort of a clear picture of, uh, of, of exactly what I, because I'm, I'm interested. I'm definitely interested. Um, what are is you it, interested is it, in? <laughs> well, no, is it the current model? Current model of what? You know, is it the modern design? Yeah, yeah, yes. The current model? Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I think you're having me on, so I'm going to go now. Okay. 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 Bye. What was it? <laughs> what was it? It was a house. It was a house. <laughs> That's why I can't keep it inside. <laughs> Is it the current model? What do you mean? It's a house. <laughs> it's time for this. Is it? A little bit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cackling Jack. I mean, what we, a shame. We, we met him earlier on, and um, yeah, it's fine for you to give me the thumbs up now, mate. <laughs> because <laughs> the thing is about radio, it's meant to be a slick operation. <laughs> and when you say the s on this, that's when things fire off. Are you ready, mate? Like this. Where does he go? Is it balls or cheese? Or a sewing machine? Cause in tell them they're dreaming it's not quite what it seems. Tell them they're dreaming. One of our favourites, Ham. And basically, it involves me today not knowing an item that you've picked out of the trading post. We're about to call them, and I've got to just ask them five questions. Based on the uh, the answers I get given, I've got to have a guess. After yeah. my five questions, a chime will sound, and um, then I've got to have a guess. You've got to crack at it. You cannot ask them, what is the item? No. 
Good luck, though, mate, because last week you got me. I got you a rap- ripper one. Last yeah, week, well, if you didn't hear it... It was a house. I, I picked a house and Amy said, I'm planning on keeping the item inside. How do you keep a house inside a house? I think that confused everybody involved. It was a good minute of awkwardness. Now, Ham, people on the, on the email were suggesting that um, maybe it's some better. people Some people like knowing what I've picked mm. and other people like playing along. So mm. here's what's going to happen. You get out of the studio, Quickly, yeah. run away... All right, Andy is leaving the studio. What I'm going to do for people for, for people that would like to know what the item is, okay, you can listen. For people that don't want to know, want to play along at home, turn your radio down now for three seconds. It's a pony. Okay, hopefully people have come back now. If you are, if you don't know what it is, okay. come back here, mate. Yep, you're fine. Okay. Right here. Yeah. So Andy doesn't know what this item is. We're going to call this number. He's got five questions to ask the seller. Let's I'm see. ready to go. The questions are good. I'm taking on a character today, so this is exciting. <laughs> I don't think it's going to make any difference. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hello. Uh, hello, it's Daryl Liebman here. I'm just uh, ringing uh, with regards to your item in the trading post. Yep, yep. Great. I'm just. Uh, I'm just. Um, basically, I'm going to use the item in a school musical. I'm. Uh, I'm the head drama teacher of school musical. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, the f- the first thing I, I wanted to ask you was um, how many kids could we get sitting on it? We've actually uh, got a situation where at the at the end of the at the end of the play, um, we just wanted to sit uh, a number of the kids on the item. I have no idea. Say if it was just stretched out. Um, I don't. I don't think you could fit more than two kids. Two kids. Two kids. Okay, well, that's fine actually, because I didn't. I didn't expect to put uh, too many more on it. Um, uh, because we're at a school, fire danger is obviously something that they're on my back about. So, um, is there any flammable parts to it? What, what exactly are you talking about? Like, what? What? Are, I'm not exactly following what you. What you're getting yeah, on about? No, 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 that's fine. I. Um, I just have to, you have to ask those questions. Being a school, so with the uh, I've got a I've got a mini bus um, that I was planning to pick it up, pick it up in. No, he has to go in a float. Does no, he? Uh, look, look, I'm really, really sorry. I'd prefer him to go to a horsey home. Yeah, no, I do. I I I love horses. Um, just uh, yeah, but it's, it's um it's a it's a smaller horse though, isn't it? It's a it's a donkey. No. Okay. He's oh. a big pony. It's a big a pony. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. No, look, I'm I'm sorry, but I'd prefer him to go to a pony club home, and yeah, that that's that's it. That's the kids, the kids will be the kids will be disappointed. All right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put him in a mini bus. I'm not going to make him drive the mini bus. He can sit up the back with the cool kids. How many could I get on it? <laughs> oh, uh, I, uh, I think it's a fail. <laughs> Is it golf balls or cheese? Or a sewing machine? Cause in dreaming it's not quite what it seems. Hey, Miss Annie, that was the intro, everybody, for the Trading Post game. Hey, mm. tell them they're dreaming. Um, it's your turn today to think of questions, five only, to ask the person that um, I call here yeah. with regards to the item they're selling in the Trading Post. You do not know the item. I do not. You do. You've gone through the Trading Post. You think you've got a good item for me. Here's the deal. If you've not heard the game before, I've got five questions that I've written out now. They're premeditated questions. At the end of five, a chime will sound. <laughs> then I have to guess what I think the item is. Might be. If you'd like to play along and guess, uh, Haim, you can get out of the studio for a half a second. If you'd like to play along and guess, Bye-bye. I would tell pe- I'd, I'd ask you to tune on or turn your radio down for three seconds because the item is a child's pram. I'm waving Haim back into the studio now. Right, Hopefully you've turned your radios back up. Here we go. Hey, here we go. I've got the number here. You ready to go, mate? Yeah, I've got some fairly <laughs> obscure questions, so they might not work, but we'll see how we go. Hello. Yeah, g'day. Uh, my name's Phil. I'm just calling about your ad in the trading post. Uh, yes. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions about it? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Just wondering uh, how I clean it. Sorry, how you... Clean it? Like, what products do you use to clean it with? Uh, I just normally use um, soap and water. Oh, okay. Yeah, just good. a little bit warm water and soap, yeah. Oh, good. Okie doke. And, um... 
I was actually going to buy it um, for my brother for his 30th birthday. Mm. Would he? He would be too big for it, wouldn't he? Sorry. He would be. Would my brother be able to use it? He's. How old? Oh, do you say thirtieth? Thirtieth, yes. Is this a, some sort of a joke? No, or? no, 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 no. I, I, he has a he has a child. Sorry, obviously it's not for him. <laughs> but yeah. Is it possible to gift wrap? How old is the child? The child is twelve. <laughs> Oh, I think you just... No, 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 sorry, I'm just asking. I've just got to make sure I know everything about it. Buyer beware, you know, get all the info. I actually, um, I've actually i actually had one of these before. Okay. Uh, but it exploded, which was uh, unlucky. I mean, is, is this one fairly safe to use? Exploded? Mm. Uh, what, what do you mean? Just, How? like, burst apart and it blew up. Oh, uh. Is this pretty safe to use? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's I mean, uh, I used it when my son was small. Okay. Yeah, yes. but I haven't well, used I... it for uh, yeah, a couple of years now. So. Okay. Well, does it have handles? Is it easy to pick up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they can just fold it. You know, you can just fold them. And it's got a, like a tray in front. Uh-huh. Where you can just, you know, if the babies want to put their cup or something like that. And you can just, yeah, it's got handles and um, swivel wheels. and Swivel wheels? Yeah. That's good. Um, I actually, I made my, I made one myself, mm. um, the one that exploded. I made one out of out of wood a few years ago. I didn't yeah. have that much money, so I tried to make one myself. Okay. It didn't work very well. Yeah. Didn't, didn't work. Um, yeah. But what's this one made out of? Oh, it's made up of, uh, mainly it's the cloth and maybe... You know, for um, the handle and stuff, this probably used some metal. Yes. Yeah, exactly, I don't know. No, that's okay. But, yeah, it's like it was bought from the baby baby shop. Oh, great. Sorry, I'm just bu- busy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have a guess. Okay. It's, is it, are you there? Have a guess. I think you hung up. <laughs> but you've got your five out, so it didn't matter what she, whether she's there or not. <laughs> But she's what, gone. What is it? Is it one of those walker things, like that they <laughs> strap around the kid and has the swivel wheels and they run around the house and they practice walking with? No, nah, it's a pram. Oh, that's so obvious. <laughs> I didn't think you'd go with such an obvious one. You were like, should handy. Damn it. I can't believe that. Is it gold balls or cheese or a sewing machine causing terror? Andy, time in your home. The jingle there for telling the dreaming. Didn't get to this yesterday. So it's a special pants off Friday edition of, of the, the Trading Post game, Ham. Here's how it works if you've not heard it before. It's your go today, Andy. I've got a trading post. I have picked out an item mm-hmm. which you do not know. You don't know what this item is. Mm. It's an obscure item. I am. A, we're about to call the seller. Mm. You've got five questions which yep. you've written down on a bit of paper there in front of you. You can ask those five questions and only those five questions. After that's happened, a chime will sound. And based on the information I've gathered from the five questions, I'll have a guess. Ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. I'm pumped today. Hello? Uh, Yeah, g'day. Um, It's Dean here. I was just ringing to inquire about your ad in the trading post, if I could. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. I was just wondering, uh, I'm heading to the US and wanted to take one of these over with me because I heard I couldn't get them there. Is that, that true? Uh, not sure. Yeah, would never clue. But, um, yeah. This yeah. one, this one's an Aussie make, though. Oh, okay, I'd have to have a look on the back of it, and it could be possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah not sure. That's, that's two. Um, th- oh, two. The um, just uh, how much does it weigh? Just for shipping costs. Um, yeah, I wouldn't know that one. It's um, like two people can pick it up. Can but, they? Um, mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm not really exactly sure what it'll weigh. Uh, I've just got to declare to customs what it's made out of, actually. Yeah. So, um, is this one uh, an aluminium one? No, well, the, I suppose the frame is, well, it, it's sort of made out of, um, I think, timber, so it's or chipboard, then I think I think it's sort of like a chipboard sort of stuff they make them out of, and yep. then it's got like a bit of a metal frame to it and stuff. Does it really? Yeah. And um, we're, uh, I'm taking it across for a bit of an old bloke over there. Yeah. Is it hard to use? He's, he, he's not a very strong person. Is it hard for him to, to open it? Um, how do you mean open it? Just use it. Just ha- no, nah, no, nah, not at all. No. Nah. 
So you should find that. Um, you shouldn't find a problem there. No. No. Um, just, uh, just. Can you? Just, would you mind just holding for a second? Yeah, that's cool. cool. What's the problem? You've got to have a guess. Well, mate, that's only been four questions. No, it that, hasn't. You you called two when it was only one question at the start. Mate, your first two questions were: Can you get it in the US? Yes. He said, "I have no idea," and you said, "Oh, so it's Australian made." Yes. Yeah, so, so it's a follow-on for the one question. So it's Australian with made. with a pause for a question. Oh, so it's Australian made. No, that's not a second question. Yes, it is. You get lots of things in the US that aren't Australian made. <laughs> is it Australian made? Is it a question? It's, it's, it, was, it was the same question with a bit of a follow-on because he gave me nothing for that for original question. The US? No idea if you can. Oh, is it Australian made? No. Is it American made? No. Is it Japan made? No. Is it Chinese made? No. Oh, all one question, all follow-ons. Yeah. They're different questions. Finding out where it's made is a separate question. Whether or not you can buy it in the US or not. You've there's a thing called you've importing and exporting. No, you've Andy. ripped me off. There's a lot of things you can buy that anyway, weren't made in the country of origin. Blo- Ever heard of free trade? That's how it happens. There's a bloke on hold, so you can yeah, well, shut up. Bad luck. You've had five questions. What a, what a crock. You've what tried a, you, to you cheat. You've bought the game in disrepute. Just admit, you've, you're, on, you're on the ropes. You've, you've, We've got to go on up, hold. Shut up. He's coming back up. He's coming back up. All right, all right. Um, I would love to. Maybe I'll just come around and check out your your cupboard. What? Is it a cupboard you're selling? Oh, you're on the radio, are you? Maybe. But what, what, are, you, what are you selling? <laughs> 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 what, what are you selling? Who's this? I'm selling a pinball machine. It is a pinball machine! <laughs> you beauty! No, sorry, what was your name? Randall. I'm, Randall. I'm, I'm, there was some argument there, Randall, as to uh, to whether I, um, I'd had five questions you or did. four. That, that you, you said, I'm <laughs> taking over. Can you get it in America? He said, Randall, you said, I'm not quite sure. Then your next question was, is it Australian made? No, they were the same That's question. That's not the same question. That oh. doesn't make sense. You can get lots of things in America that aren't Australian made. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, uh, thank uh, you, Randall. You've <laughs> given me another win. Uh, good on you. <laughs> <laughs> See you, mate. Thanks, mate. All right, mate. Have a good day. Good Cheers, mate. mate. Is it golf balls or cheese or a sewing machine? Cause in tell them they're dreaming, it's not quite what it seems. There was the intro for Tell Them They're Dreaming, Trading yeah. Post game, Ham. My job is to pick something from the Trading Post, not tell you what it is. But um, we call that number, you've got five questions. And after the fifth question, a chime will sound and you have to have a guess at what is the item I've picked yeah. out of the trading post. I think I've got some pretty good questions today. <laughs> I think these questions will really narrow in on what the item might be. Tough item today, I think. I'll is be it? honest with you. Yeah. So good luck with that. I'll and, be fine. And, uh, watch we'll, just, you just watch me go. The number is going in. Here we go. Hello? Oh, yeah, g'day, mate. Uh, my name's uh, Philip Collins. I'm just calling you about your ad in the Trading Post. Yeah, go ahead. Um, listen, mate, just, just curious as to uh, what, what, why are you selling it? Oh, well, uh, I have a, a big collection. Oh, yeah. And they're actually the uh, last two that are left. Oh, righty-o. <laughs> so I've okay. actually got quite a few. I've actually yeah. got quite a few bits and pieces as well, but they're... Um, I've actually kept them for a little bit longer. I've actually sold most... I think I sold the... One before that, probably about two weeks ago, to the neighbour. Okay, yep. I was I was thinking of uh, giving it to my son. Um, any... actually, there's actually two of them in there to pair. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe I'll give. One. No, that's okay. That's he'd, he'd like both. Uh, what what sort of running costs are we looking at? Well, I would say let's say five dollars for every ten days. Um, you may have to buy a can of um, uh, Top of Descent, which will help you. They might them, but then once you get the enclosure clean, you look at them after they cleaning it. You shouldn't probably have to spray that. Oh, you probably, yeah, you get away once a year probably. Oh, you right, probably would. You probably wouldn't have a problem. Pretty cheap. But, um, I was thinking. Of, I was thinking of keeping it uh, outside. On I live on the second story. I've got an apartment on the second story. Yeah, and I was thinking of keeping them uh, the pair outside. Would if they dropped them off the balcony. Um, not that it would. I'd want to have them, but would they? Would they be all right, or would they if shatter? The snake, if the snake dropped off the balcony, <laughs> snake. Sorry, yeah. It would. Would it survive? 
if, what are you going to drop off the balcony? I don't want to drop it off the balcony, so I was just <laughs> checking if it did fall off the balcony. <laughs> Why do you hate snakes so much? Sorry. Why do you want to throw them uh, off the balcony? My mate's in the background giving <laughs> a bit of a... I was just, just double-checking. Uh, what, so, what are you going to drop off the balcony? I'm not dropping it off the balcony. <laughs> you are. Just double-checking. The RSPCA checking. are on to you. No, now. mate, I'm not going to drop them off the balcony. It's two snakes, yeah? <laughs> are we talking about two snakes? Yeah, what are you going to do with them? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> he's, not, he's not throwing. He's throwing them off balconies. I'm sorry, I just was. I just was not 100 percent sure what we were talking about. I wasn't sure if uh, they would shatter or not. But I'm not going to drop them off the balcony. And I promise, I'm not a ma- maniac. Well, this sounds like Hamish, you know. It, it is. is. It is. Sorry, no. We're just. I'm just trying to guess what you were selling, and I've accidentally told you I'm going to drop your snakes off the balcony. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. What, what was, was your, your name? name? <laughs> Richard. 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 Oh, God, you had me confused there for a second. I didn't know what, yeah, what we were talking well, about. I've, well, I've got him. I've won this one, Richard. Richard. Andy's, uh, <laughs> Andy's done pretty well there. Yeah. <laughs> I promise you, Richard, I am not a snake hater. I love snakes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Richard, good luck with the sale, mate. Good on you, mate. Oh, sorry. Thanks, Rich. Is it golf balls or cheese or a sewing machine causing terror? Andy, driving you home, there, the intro for the Trading Post game. Tell them the dream and ham. My turn today yep. to guess. Um, basically, you've picked an item out of the Trading Post. I don't know what it is. We call them. I have five questions, and then I have to guess based on the information I get from those questions. A chime will sound just before the fifth, uh, or That's after right. the fifth question. Andy, quickly leave the studio. Leave yep. the studio, because uh, some people like to know the item just before, uh, just before we play the game. Others like to play the whole game. If you don't want to know what the item is before we play this game, turn your radio down now for five seconds. Okay, for people that are still listening, the item today is four little replica suits of the Kelly Gang's armour. Bit of a tough one. Come back in, mate. Andy's okay. coming back in. Okay, I can tell you, Andy, yep. before we do this one, I think it's I think it's fair for me to tell you there's four of these items. It's a set four of, of four. Okay. okay. Yeah, sure. All, All right. right. Ready to go. <laughs> Very confident. Hello, Ray speaking. Uh, g'day, Daniel McGinley speaking. I uh, am a mayor of a town, Trawell, and I was just um, ringing up inquiring about your item in the trading post. Yep. What I'm going to do uh, for our town, we're hoping to use the set of four as, uh, as a monument for the town. So are they, are they weatherproof? Uh, these are only very small, Daniel. These aren't full-size replicas. They're That's uh, fine. scale replicas, but they're only That's um, fine. a got, small we've, size. We've got a pillar that we're putting them on top, but just I just wanted to make sure that they're weatherproof. Uh, Daniel, these are... I don't think these are what would be suitable. These are like a unit that you'd put on top of your television for a display purpose only. They're only about the size of, say, a beer bottle. Oh, okay. Um, well, we were thinking of uh, painting them all white. Obviously, monuments uh, are white, so once we've done the dip, we'll probably be able to weatherproof that way. How many how many cans of paint would I need though for the um, to to get them all white? Um, look, I, I really don't think these are what you're after, Daniel. These well, I'll aren't be the very judge. big. I'll, I'll, yeah, I, I, I think I'll be the judge. I, I know. I think I know what size they are. Uh, how, well, how tall is it so we can see it from the road? Yeah, they're only about 300 millimetre high. Yeah, that that's fine. We're going to put them on top of a pillar so people will see the pillar and come down and have a look at the all four of the white things. Um, are there any bits to them or that I need to secure for, uh, obviously, thieves and, and people that might steal them? Yeah, most likely, yeah. There's a glass case that comes with them, but... Um... Put them on a glass case. So it's, um, it's kind of... Um, it's made out of tin or something, is it? Yeah, steel plates. Steel plates? Yeah, they're all made out of steel plates. Okay. They're in their little cases, and I'm sure that they're come some form of um, armour. That's yes, that's right. Specifically, though? Um, probably... Uh, yeah, whose armour? Kind of like soldier's armour from probably the English Times 600 AD or something. Is that what it is? Yeah, something like that. Is it really? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Fantastic! That's a, that's that's great news. Um, is, 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 or, is, or is it more sort of like Ned Kelly's armor? 
Yeah, it's Ned Kelly's armour. It is Ned Kelly's armour. Oh, so, well, I'm kind of right. Sorry, there's uh, there's, there's two of us here. So, what was your name again, mate? Yeah, Hamish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it, it is uh, it is Hamish and Andy here. Uh, <laughs> what was your name, mate? Yeah, Barry. Barry, Barry yeah. Barry, I, Andy was he thought he thought he had it, but uh, do I, I have it though? Like I mean, it's specific. Ned Kelly's armor. You said English but, in six hundred AD, but he said that that was close enough. That Barry, was fine. Barry, Barry would you, you be give the it, judge? Barry, would you give it to me for six hundred AD? It, a British armor in twelve hundred years too early. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah! Oh, Barry! <laughs> ba- Barry, Andy did not guess that. It's Ned, it's the Kelly Gang's armour. No, you can't not. say that it could have been used in the 600s. They can. And Barry, thank you very much, Barry. Mate. It's two all now. Barry. Thank you. So don't argue with the judge. I'm just, the judge I'm just talking final. to Barry here. Well, bad luck. It's, uh, it's over. Thanks so much, Barry. <laughs> oh. Good on you guys. Oh, you're a hey, champ. Thanks so much, Barry. Thanks, Barry. Although I, you've just checked your history, mate. <laughs> Ned Kelly did not oh, use it's British armour. It's a win. <laughs> Andy, driving you home. That was the opener there for Tell Them They're Dreaming, game we play, also known as the Trading Post game. I've got the Trading Post in front of me, and you I'm do. picking out an item. Ham, it's your turn today. When we ring this person, you have no idea what the item is. You'll ask five questions, and then a chime will sound, and based on those five questions, you have to have a guess of what the item is, the one that I've picked today. Now, the questions I've gone for today are a little bit more specific <laughs> than normal. You've already written them. It could be a dead end, yep. but it really could sort of... Like, one of them, for instance, is it poisonous? Mm. Is, you know, if you've picked an animal or something, yeah. I'm going to get you <laughs> on that. <laughs> Fair so enough. you can't change what you've picked, and no, I won't no. change my questions. I've got it here. You jump right. out for a second, mate. Alrighty. People who want to play along at home, I'm about to reveal what the item is, so you might want to turn down your radios for five seconds. I'm going to about to say what the item is in three, two, one. It's a skateboard half pipe. All right, come back in, home. He's, uh, he's on his way back in. You ready to go? Uh, yeah, questions are in. Mate. I've got in the... fact, I'm pretty confident with my questions. I might get it in four. <laughs> well, I've got the number here, and no. uh, and we're away. Yes, hello, Chocolate Team. Bob speaking. Yeah, g'day, Bob. My name's Dan. I'm just calling about your uh, ad in the training post. Yeah, the boys, that's me boys, mate, yeah. Oh, yeah, great. Uh, yeah. Mate, uh... Listen, do you mind if you have a couple of seconds just to answer a couple of questions? Yeah, no worries, mate, yeah. Um, mate, if you had to guess, how much uh, would it cost to post it? Or to ship oh. it to me? We're about to tell you, mate. If I was uh, to say I was just picking up from the city. Yeah, well, well, I could probably get it delivered by by someone for about only 100 bucks. yeah. All right, yeah, okay, yeah. all right, uh, that's good. I'm going to give it to my niece, actually. Oh, yeah. She's, uh, she's, she's pretty a, big, mate. Yeah, she's into that kind of stuff, though. She, oh, yeah, yeah. What what brand? Uh, what, where, do you know what country it's made in? Yeah, it was made in Australia, yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's uh, all that, uh, like, a uh, heavy, it's welded, uh, like, 12 mil welded plastic, the head, real heavy stuff. Oh, great. That's you know good. The, yeah, 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 no. It plays a ton, it does. So a good, good quality assembly. Yeah, that's right, assembly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, great. Um... In, in in terms of price, uh, could I swap you a ride on lawnmower? I've, I've got one at the moment, mate. <laughs> Would that be a fair deal, though? No, I've already got one, though. Yeah. If you didn't have one, just just oh just, yeah, you'd oh. you'd take that that sort of a deal. No, I wouldn't probably do it. Yeah. Righty, yeah. Um, it's not poisonous, is it? What's that? The staff? Yeah, no, it's not. No, it's... no, mate, not when you yeah, not when you're. Uh, Falling off it. No, it's pretty good, mate. Yeah. Alrighty. Righty, then. All right. So, well, mate, I guess basically, uh, I, I, I suppose. What color is it? Black, mate. She's all black. Yeah, all black, mate. Okay. Terrific. And it is the heavy duty pipe. It is very heavy duty, mate. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's four blokes to pick up half of it. All right. Yeah. Great. So it's a, uh, it's a jacuzzi. Yeah. 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 It is... Oh, good one, mate. <laughs> what? You're talking about the half. <laughs> What's that? One. <laughs> I've been had here. No, no. Is it a jacuzzi? Uh, yes, mate. No, it's not. Hamish. No, it is Hamish, but what is it? What Hamish, is... you got me, mate. <laughs> I'm not trying to get you. You've got me. Is it a jacuzzi? No, it's not a jacuzzi. What is it? 
Uh, it's a half pipe, mate. For, yes! uh, uh, it's a skate half pipe, you idiot. It's a half pipe. <laughs> 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 oh, thank you so much. Oh. What, what was your name, mate? Uh, Bob, mate. Bob, Bob, it's Andy here. I picked out the half pipe, and uh, Hamish had to try and guess it. He could yeah. use it as a jacuzzi, yeah. though, couldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a pretty shallow one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm thinking, where's this boy going? <laughs> oh, damn well, it. Bob, it's a loss for Hamish, but thanks for playing today. No worries, buddy. All right, mate. mate. Cheers, mate. Bye. How are you going to post a half pipe for $100? (laughs) He's got a good price, that I was very surprised. (laughs) Is it gold balls or cheese? Or a sewing machine? Cause in Telemadreaming, it's not quite what it seems. Hamish and Andy driving you home. That was the opener of Tell Them They're Dreaming, Ham, the trading post game. Of course. Here we go, Ando. Today it's your turn to guess. I'm going to pick an item. In fact, I have picked quite a very good item from the Trading Post here. Yep. You've written down five questions. Yep. You don't know what the item is. Got some great questions here. <laughs> He's just going to ring the number, and you've only got those five questions to ask the seller. Mm. A chime will sound after your fifth question. At that point, you have to just have a guess. Based on the information I've gathered off him. What the item is. So Ready? far, uh, we've only each won this game once. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> each. And we've been doing it for... Some months now, Are so really? I'm really. Uh, on one hand, I want to win yeah. from you today. On the other hand, I rate you as not much of a chance. <laughs> All right, here we All go. Right, here's the number. Hello. Yeah, good mate. Just uh, ringing about your uh, ad in the trading post. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually a collector of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, so, is it in good nick? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I've, I've had it for about uh, two years and I've been doing little bits and pieces to it. Okay. And, um, I'm probably going um, to hang it on the wall, the big shed I've got. Uh, what yeah. kind of wall support will I need to hang it? Uh, it's probably a bit big for that, mate. Well, no, I've, I've got a massive shed. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So what kind, uh-huh. of, what kind of wall support? Will I need to put it in another steel girder, do you think? Um, I don't know if... Well, it's about 12 by 8, mate, so you're struggling a bit. No, no, I oh, don't know. 12 by 8, that's good. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put a bit of a finish on it to protect it. Um, yeah. How many how many cans of, uh, of finish do you think it would take up to, to paint a coat of it, repaint it? You sound like Andy Lee, mate. <laughs> Good spot. <laughs> hey, just just don't reveal the item. That's, hang on, it's Hamish and Andy here. Who's this? It's Chris, mate. How you doing? Yeah, Chris. Chris, yeah. do not reveal the item. Andy's up to his third question. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Ando, you've got two more. Okay, how, well, how many cans of paint would it take? <laughs> Probably a lot, mate. Yeah, all right, okay, Chris. Okay, this yeah. is the first time that we've uh, we've we've you've, we've been spotted. We've been picked halfway through. <laughs> yeah. but, all right, this is exciting, Chris. Question yeah. four. Um, question four. If because I'm a collector of them, yeah. <laughs> if if I, I have to label them, one yeah. word to sum it up. What? Yeah, that's you, fine. That's no. That's asking Chris to name the item. No, no, just one word to sum up the item. It's not. Don't name the item. I collect. Well, wait, 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 I collect what, what word would you use to sum up a spa? Probably spa. <laughs> you can't. You can't ask for one word to sum up the item. All You're right. asking for the name of the okay, item. I'll move to my next. one. Chris, do not answer that. <laughs> would you be prepared to sell and deliver for fourteen hundred dollars? No. 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 All right, no, Ando. No way. You want to have a guess? Well, no, because you didn't let me do All the right, words. You've got up. one more question. Okay. Um, so, uh, would this rust, mate, if I left it outside? Yeah, it would, yes. All righty, Andy, here we go. You've got a fairly heavy thing that yeah. doesn't, doesn't cost $1,400 that would rust. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think you should have a crack. A, uh, a fridge. Chris, would you like to reveal what the item is? It's a model railway, mate. Model railway, Ando. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well off, my friend. Well off. <laughs> well, I listen, I listen to this on the way home, boys, so I kind of recognise it when you're asking me silly questions. Yeah. <laughs> We've been diddled, but uh, yeah. Andy's questions would not have got in there anyway. Good to no. know. Thank you, Chris. Uh, thanks, boys. Cheers, Cheers mate. mate. Bye. Yeah, mate. Oh. There you go, mate. I don't think it's an accurate reflection because he... Look at you trying to get him to name it. Well, he wasn't... That was my question. If you had to spell it backwards, (laughs) how would you spell it? (laughs) I'm not asking him for the note. (laughs) No points. Is it golf balls or cheese? Or a 
sewing machine calls in. Tell them they're dreaming. It's not quite what it seems. The opener there for Tell Them the Dreaming. Hey, we've got an email. From a New Zealand podcaster saying, why do you call it, tell them they're dreaming? It's so confusing. It's the Trading Post game. That would be a little bit uh, perplexing. <laughs> uh, it's Because it's the Trading Post game, obviously they haven't seen the film The Castle. The Castle. Famous Aussie film, yeah. The Castle. Always reference tell well, them they're dreaming if it's with regard to prices. That's why we name our segments after well-known Australian catchphrases to reward our Australian <laughs> listeners and to perturb our international <laughs> podcasters. Welcome, everybody, listening internationally. <laughs> Actually, Haim, today, uh, of course, the way this game works is I've selected an item out of the trading post here. It is not kangaroo boots. No, it isn't kangaroo We've boots. Been, I've been thrice bitten by <laughs> kangaroo boots. And uh, my job to put the number in, yes. your job to already come up with five questions. I, I have, I think, five fairly good questions here. I don't know the, uh, the questions. You don't know the item. After you've said five questions, a chime will sound. And uh, Ham, after the chime sounds, you've got to have a guess. Yep. at what the item might be. One all is the current score for this segment. <laughs> in about 40 games. It's been deadlocked at one all for quite some time. <laughs> Let's see how you go today. You put the number in, Cackling Jack. Here we go. <clears throat> Hello? Yeah, g'day, mate. My name's Phil. I'm just calling about your ad in the trading post. Oh, yes? Yeah, terrific. Uh, look, I was just wondering if I, uh, if I drove around to, to grab it, I've got a small Peugeot 201. Could I get it on the roof of the car? A small Peugeot Oh, yes. Yeah, it'd fit up there? Yes, it's only very small. It's only oh. a little small 20 litre. That's One's good. For a, uh, for a caravan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, terrific, terrific. Uh, I'm actually, I run a cafe, so I'm going to use it uh, in the cafe. Oh, yes. And um, just wondering, is there something I could attach a lock to on it just so people won't pinch it? Um, yeah, I suppose you could. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah, great. You could do something like that and yeah, it, it lock it down. It doesn't have any loose parts that, uh, that might sort of fall into someone's food and poison them? Uh, no, 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 no. It's in two parts. One part is the seat, the other part is the tank. And you put a bit of chemical in and uh, no problems. Yep. Oh, okay, great. Um, all right. I used to, actually used to have a, a German one of these that I was very, uh, very impressed with. Oh, yeah. Whereabouts is this one made? Um, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Probably uh, most 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 things are made in China these days. I'm sure they make a good one. Oh yes, it's, it's not too bad. It's it's we had a we had a caravan and it's gone. No, uh, and we only had it for um, I suppose we used it no more than about two, uh, three four times. That's great news. Cardboard cart and everything. Oh, I didn't expect to get one in that good nick. Yep. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, all right. And because uh, I am going to keep it in the cafe, mm. um, what what material is the base made out of? Just because I don't want it to get... Uh... Uh, plastic. It's all plastic. Great. Well, thank yep. God for that. Yep. All righty. You know, so I suppose it's sort of more like a, a a drum that you can sit in, like a little portable toilet. Yes, yes. It's a small, yeah. small, small portable to- toilet. That's the one. And, That's uh, the one. So I'm... Um... Uh... <laughs> yep. And just there you go. Yeah, so it's a little uh, 20 litre portable uh, chemical yes. toilet. Yes. That's great. And I probably won't keep it in the cafe, actually, mate. Um, but thank you for your. Uh, thanks for that. I'll, I'll give you a buzz back. Give me a run back, will you? I'll give you a buzz back, yeah. Okay, thank you. Bye. No worries. <laughs> Thanks very much. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a big win for Mr H. Blake. I should have known. You know toilets. I know toilets, mate. I actually would love a portable toilet for the lounge room. <laughs> it just clicked right at the end. Yeah, the I know. You, you were sitting there. I know. I mean, yes, what, what sort of a thing do you sit in? Hang on, only the best seat in the world, a bloody toilet. Well done. I finally got another one. It's 2-1 after about six months of doing this segment. Is it golf balls or cheese? Or a sewing machine? Cause in dreaming, it's not quite what it seems. Hey, Mr. Danny, driving you home. Hey, and that was just the opener for Tell Them They're Dreaming, the trading post game. Your job is to pick an item out of the trading post. I don't know what it is. We ring that person, the seller. I have five questions to ask after that a chime of sound, and then I have to have, to have a guess. Andy, I'll give you a clue for today's. Yeah. It's an item I myself, uh, during a moment of impulse purchasing, 
almost got a few weeks ago. Okay, so you almost got an item. That's not so that could that's be. So that's all right. That, that could be anything with the amount of stupid stuff geez, you buy. I try and give you a clue and this is the thanks I get. <laughs> all right. But you've got five questions. Yeah. Well, the, well, I know it's probably nothing practical. That, <laughs> unlike okay. all the other stuff in the trading post. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Oh, hello. Hello. Um, just ringing about your ad in the trading post. Yes. Um, yeah, what, what did you want to know? A few questions. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking of uh, taking it to um, to my sister. And, yeah. Um, so we're going to take a, t- a caravan trip yeah. up there. Um, will it fit in the caravan or will I have to strap it to the roof? Um, oh, it's quite heavy. It weighs about 30 kilos. So if you, if you can put it onto a flat surface, I mean, it's not going to move around. Great. So I'm not, that's fine. Yeah. 30, I've got I've 200 kilos I can have on the roof. Oh, well, uh, yeah. The reinforced yeah. roof. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. What, that'll uh, be okay. What size is it for drag, for mileage, for the caravan? Um, um, much drag on it, like... Um, oh, well, it's, it's probably... Well, it'll be under... I'm just trying to think... Um, well, it's just a, a platform, really. It's not... Um, actually, I've got my measure here. I'll just give you a rough idea yeah, just how, well, yeah. how high it is. Sure. But it's, it's about 23 centimetres oh, high. that's great. That won't take much drag yeah, at all. No, that's it's, be... it's not the sort that's got the big handles on it that you can't take off. Oh, good. I didn't so want that. it's just flat. Okay, yeah. sure. Yep. Um, now, my sister wanted a red one. Uh, what colour? Oh, well, is... they don't come in colours. It's just silver. It's just this, obviously. Yeah, just the, can't, I, buy, can't buy it in colours. I didn't think you could. No, um, they're just silver. That's with, silver. With a black, where you actually stand is a black platform. Okay. Okay, yep. um, there's uh, a lot of wild dogs in uh, up in uh, Northern Territory where she is. Um, okay, is uh, there a possibility that they could get at it and uh, and ruin it at all if it's left well, I outside? I can't really see what they could do to it, uh, apart from chew the cord. You know, because it's plugged in, so mm. they might chew the cord. But if you took the, is it going to be kept outside? Is it? No. Well, I, we were thinking about it, but we'll probably just keep it inside. Well, I think you'd have to keep it inside. Mm. Mm. It's, a, it's an electrical thing, so I mean you have to have it plugged in into a socket. So, sure, sure. Um, so it would need to be inside. And um, and how much uh, how, how much of the of the stuff can you put in it? What do you mean? Just uh, uh, that's all right. Have a go. It's a. Um, you you just stand on it. That's all. Have a go. Okay, so I'll um I'll may as well come and have a look at the uh, the foot yeah. spa. The foot spa you're selling. No, I'm not selling a foot spa. What what, 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 what are what are you see? selling? I'm selling a vibration machine that you just stand on and you and you you do exercises vibration. on it, or it's just a weight. Yep. A weight loss. <laughs> that or? is exactly what you're selling. Yeah. And that is. That's a real f- and good on you for that. And I think that uh, is, um, sorry, Dawn. It's um it's Hamish and Andy here. And are you there? No, you've gone. Oh, that what a stitch up. <laughs> Lost <John. laughs> oh, a vibration. Know, I was never gonna get that. Well they're really popular now. Vibro what? Are they, for what? Vibro Gym. Haven't you seen the ads? Oh, they're so popular. She's bought one. Yeah. They've just come out and she's trying to get rid of it. <laughs> That's why I picked it because nobody knows how to describe those things. So there was no chance she was gonna say what it was. Too hard. Too hard. Too Unfair. hard. Giving you we'll, not a win. We'll call Dawn back. You're very, <laughs> very keen to see. A uh, pack of wild dogs take on the vibration <laughs> machine, though. Is it golf balls or cheese or a sewing machine? Cause in the dreaming, it's not quite what it seems. The opener for the Trading Post game, Tell Them They're Dreaming Ham. Today, I have the Trading Post in front of me. Yeah. Pretty tough game, this one. It's a very tough game. Uh, I've won twice. We've been doing it for about a year. You've won once. once. We've been doing it every week. <laughs> what we do is uh, my turn today to pick out an item from the trading post, Ham. Punch in the number here. And whoever picks up, yeah. you don't know the item, but you have to ask five questions of them and gathering information from those five questions, then have a guess. A chime will sound after the five questions. That's when you have to make your guess. I reckon I've got fine, five pretty finely crafted questions here, and You reckon there's a win? Even though that... I've been working on these questions all day. Only 3% of games we've actually had an outcome. I'm ready. <laughs> I feel all good. Right. I've got the number here. Let's, uh, let's give it a rip. 
Hello. Hello, my name's Sam. I'm just calling about your ad in the trading post. Yes, look, just, go your hardest. Just wondering what year it was made. It was a, it's a 1996. Oh, good. That's Windsor a... Sun Chaser. This is the 25th anniversary model and Ooh. it had quite a few extras on it. Like they've got 99 out of 100 have got the roof that's a pop top and the roof sits on. Yep. Whereas this one has got a little wind chest wind cheater deflector on the top so that oh. the roof doesn't catch the wind. I've got the um, the log book and all the instructions here and uh, it's a very clean one. There's, we're only the second owner and the log book here is on all the trips it's done. Oh, beautiful. In recent times, I've put two new tyres on it because it's got independent suspension. You're aware of that with vans? I was specifically looking for one with yeah. independent See, most suspension. Most vans have got the straight axle going through, whereas this yeah. one's got independent suspension. So if you hit a pothole, just that wheel goes down, the whole van doesn't... Yeah, hardly feel it. That's the good. The tyres are light truck tyres. There are new tyres on it. I've just had two struts replaced have on you? the roof because... Uh, uh, the gas had gone out of uh, one of them, so they did both on that <laughs> side, so it's had new strats. Well, I've had new new trail arms put on the, <laughs> the, the uh, suspension, so mm -hmm. they're brand new trail arms there, yep. so that's it's tracking beautifully. Yep. Inside features, it's got microwave, stove, refridge, which is a gas electric. It's an island double bed. It's got radio with it. Extras that we're throwing yep. in, it's got a TV antenna and pole. Yep. Uh, a porta potty. Very good. Two chairs. Thank Yeah, good uh, to hear. It's got an awning with a floor. Thank God for that. Yes. Um, all the usual hoses and driving mirrors, the torsion bars. The red Joe is to the 21st of March next year. Yep. That's only $34.60. Oh, that's good news. It's a, it's a caravan, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, a pop-top yeah. pop top car. Oh, yeah, great. That's good. Oh, well, no, that's good. Look, let me, uh, let me just have a think about it, and I'll give you a buzz back. Would you do that? I certainly would. Yes, you've got my number there, and uh, as I say, it's a very genuine oh. van. I'm, we wanted it to be perfect for people to take off with, and so... Uh, Sounds terrific. It's a, uh, it's a good buy. Good on you. Thanks so much for the information. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll mull over it, and I'll give you a call back. Thanks for that. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All that just <laughs> not well, even, I've won. Not even one question. <laughs> I've got it. He was the perfect candidate. <laughs> Jesus. Well, that was an easy win. <laughs> you were <that> easy. <laughs> home, I've told them they're dreaming, mm. and... Um, I've picked out an item for you. Here's how it works. I've got the trading post. Yep. I am going to put this number into the system. You don't know what the item is, but you've got five questions, which you need to ask the seller. Yep. After five questions, a chime will sound. And, um, yeah, then I have to have a guess based on the information I've gathered. Ham, uh, the past few weeks we've been basically uh, caught out on this one. Sure. Um, and been we've been weeding out people by the, the question, so I'm going to play a bit of a character today. Andy Lee. I know. In an effort to try and get past a few more weird questions. Look at this. I mean, look at you go. We've got Bond opening, Madagascar, yeah. Australia the film, and now Andy Lee plays a character. Probably the film. will be shortly <laughs> after Andy this. Andy Lee plays a character. <laughs> the film. <laughs> <laughs> All right, put the number in here. All right, here we go. Good luck, mate. Good afternoon, Apex. Uh, G'day, it's uh, it's Gavin calling from uh, from Maxim Film Productions. I just uh, wanted to inquire about your ad in the Trading Post. Yeah, it's in, like it only got used about once. I think it's pretty new. Really. Oh, great, great! That's fantastic. We're just doing it for a film. Um, I'll give you a bit of background for myself. I do the props on the film, which uh, is just all the little bits and pieces you may see on on set with uh, without the actors there. Um, so I might have some odd questions for you, just because we're going to try and track down some items. All right. Yeah, sure thing. Cool, cool. We're um we're gonna we're actually planning on blowing it up. 
in the uh, in the in the film is uh, is it is it highly flammable? No, no, it's stainless steel. That's that's great. That is great. All right. Um, we would it be easy to hollow out because we do need to put the explosives inside of it. Um, not a lot of it, but would would you be able to hollow it out? It's uh, it's hollow in the center. That's yeah. That's what I, that's what I thought. So we had to get get it in the center, which is good. Um, how heavy um, is it? Because for the effect, we'd really love it to go up into the air and just you know, I'm gonna get my explosive technicians across this stuff. Just the actual weight of it. Would you be able to hamper it? A guess. Uh, two kgs. Only not two- even one. One uh, uh, dry. It's only about one and a half kgs. I guess. When it's dry. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, because you put some yeah. water in the bottom of it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, would it be easy to find another one? I need doubles of this thing. So would it be would it be easy to find another one? Because uh, yeah, certainly it cost us two hundred dollars new. So two hundred bucks uh, new. All right, all right, and um, and it's very Australian, isn't it? This item. So um, it's very iconically Australian. Would you say? I wouldn't think so. No. 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 Not at all. Good, good um, luck, my friend. Well, so I'd like to uh, to, to pop around and um, and have a look at the uh, the the pot, the um, the the tea teapot. Well, it's not a teapot; it's a, it's a dim sim cooker. Oh no! Oh, too bad. It's it's a, it's a, uh, that is a, that's annoying. Um, Oh, no worries. Thank you. Okay, Th- bye. Okay. Well, that is... Oh, too bad, man. <laughs> Strike out. A dim sim cooker. Oh, no. Bottom of the nine. <laughs> Strike five. <laughs> A dim sim so cooker. Hard. No, it's not. 200 bucks. Oh, yeah? I've often Immediately, thought... Immediately, 200 bucks, dim sim cooker. <laughs> well, that's what I think. <laughs> Mate, you make a few hundred dim sims, you're in profit. <laughs> The Trading Post game with Tamish Nanny driving you home. My job uh, for people who've just tuned in, maybe for the first time ever. Welcome. 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 You've still got a show and a half left. Yes, but um, hey, I'm the Trading Post game. I've got the Trading Post in front of me. I pick out an item, put the number in. You don't know what the, the item is. You've got five questions of the seller, and based on the information that they give, you've got to have a, uh, a bit of a crack at what you think the item might be. A chime will sound after five questions. I've written a fairly specific line of questioning today, Andy. Yeah. Now, I haven't told you my questions either, no. just so well, you know. That's, that's, that's part of the rule. You can't stitch me up yeah. and pick an item that just wouldn't work for these questions, but this could either go very well or very poorly. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Last one of the uh, the year. Okay, the number going in. Hello. Oh, g'day, mate. Uh, my name's Greg. I'm just calling about your ad in the Trading Post. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah, look, yeah. Um, I was, uh, I was just going to think of getting it for uh, Christmas Day. Reckon that'd be a fairly good idea? Yeah, it'd be good for the kids. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, we're going to have a uh, Christmas lunch outside. Uh, it'll be all right outside? Yeah, yep. All right, yeah, great. What colour? It's uh, just, it's got only got the carbon roof at the moment, ironstone. Oh, yeah, terrific. Okay, and um, no doubt it's uh, made your life a bit easier over the years? Is this Hamish and Andy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Hang, All right, hang on. Hang on. He, does, he doesn't know. We, uh, acknowledging, been... acknowledging that it is Hamish and Andy. Just don't give away what the the uh, the item is. Can we keep going? <laughs> yeah, keep going. Yeah. Will you answer honestly? Yeah. yeah, All yeah. Right. All right. So no doubt it's made your life a bit easier over the years. Would you say it has or? Yeah, it made it more fun anyway. Okay, okay. And um, last question here. Don't tell me he's going to get it. Do you reckon it'd be able to handle more than 10 uses in a day? <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah no, no worries there? No yeah, worries. no worries with that at all. Okay. You did mention the colour bond roof. Yep. It's fun. Yep. Is it a cubby house? Oh, my God. He's yep. got that Merry Christmas. <laughs> 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 oh, what no. a victory. 
I can't believe it. What a victory. I'd gone for some pretty specific questions. Fantastic line of questioning. But I just it just came through. What was your name, mate? Jack. Jack. Unfortunately, Jack, Jack we're not interested, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We've simply called up to waste your time. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thanks, no, Jack. Right. Thanks for the call, boys. No Thanks worries, mate. Right. Cheers, mate. Bye. See ya. <sighs> what a win. <laughs> <laughs> Great way to finish the year. Wasn't Congratulations. It? Wasn't uh, it? A Christmas miracle. What is that? Because uh, I was worried. 3-1? 3-1. For the year. If it was like a dog or something, would you get more than 10 uses for it in a day? I don't think someone would sell it to you. <laughs> if a dog was colour bond roof on it, I'd be worried. <laughs> Tell them they're dreaming. The Trading Post game, Ham, for new listeners, welcome. Welcome. And see if you can win at this game. If you do, you'll be doing a lot better than Andy and I. How many times have we had a victory on this game, Ando? You're up 3-1 now. Yeah. Um, but that's It's not f- easy that, to get four, a win. That's four victories from, I dare say, like 35 <laughs> attempts. <laughs> the way this works is I've got the Trading Post here. I've had a flick through. Yeah. I'm going to put in a number. And um, basically, uh, whoever picks up, Hamish, you don't know the item I've picked out. You've got to yeah. ask the seller five questions. If uh, from after five questions, a chime will sound, and you've got to, to have a guess of what you think the item may be. I have a very from the questions that you specific asked. last question, oh, yes. which could be a real zinger, or uh, it might just make them think I'm a weirdo. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Um, are you ready to go? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Put the number in now. Hello. Oh, yeah, g'day. Uh, my name's Phil. I'm just bringing you back. You're out in the trading post. All oh, right, yes. What can I tell you about it? I was just wondering, um, does it have any rust on it? Rust? No. No, oh. it's black uh, black with that, you know, I suppose, fireproof uh, <clears throat> paint on the, on the bottom. Oh, great. And, uh, and the two lids. Yep. Uh, two, it's yep, two, two lids. lids. Two it's, lids. Uh, the two lids are like, you know, pyramid... Type, you know, we have two halves. Oh, thank you. Yeah, great. That's exactly the model I was after. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, safe, safe to use in a caravan? I, I, I have a caravan. It's six foot long. Is it? Okay. No, it's all right. I could knock out one of the beds, I suppose. Um, <laughs> I don't think I'll be using it in a caravan. Uh, no, I might not. I might, um, well, I'll give it a crack, but if we have any dramas, then... Uh, you know, I'll. So I can make my. It's, it's six so, uh, foot long. It's one point eight meters long. Oh yes, I'm familiar with the conversion. Um, would would you would you swap it for an exercise bike? No, we we we're sixty five now. We we downgrading our lifestyle altogether down to just to give you an idea. We clean out things that oh yeah, it'll be right. The kids will take it on, but none of our kids are interested. So yeah, we just no. have to get rid of it. You sound like a man that's downgrading his lifestyle. It's nice to keep it simple. Is it made in Australia? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. We, well, commercial, when I say it's commercially made, I mean, it can be domestic. We've used it at home many a times. We've put a 30, 40 kilo pig or a butt of beef, two butts of beef or a piece of pork or whatever. Okay, I've just got one more question that I, I need to ask you here. Um, I, was, I was hoping to keep a kitten in it. Is it possible to... Uh just just on it, when it's not being used as a little house for a kitten? Well, <laughs> that's up to you, my friend. You can put whatever you like to put in there. Yeah. Kitten yeah. Or... No, I was going to say, because I, I think it's a spit, isn't it? It's like a, a rotisserie cooker. It's a rotisserie yeah. spit. Yeah, it's a spit, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. I thought it was a spit. Sorry, I just needed to quickly ask that last question. Um, is, this, is this supposed to be a, a joke call? Or? It's not really, really a joke call, but I, I, I had to guess what item you were selling. Um, I, I wasn't it, quite sure what item you were if selling. If you can visualise a commercial spit, it's six foot long. <laughs> no, it no, has no, two, no. two gas long no. burners, yes. an electric motor, and two lids on top. She sounds friend. like... An absolute beauty, sir. Yeah, that so sounds like that's a... what I'm selling. And if you wish to set to come and view it, you're welcome to. We, might, a... we might call you back. You are a lovely man. Okay. You're a lovely okay. man, and I, I look forward to it. Thank you very okay. much. 
Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was a spirit. But I had to ask the last question. You had pre-written questions. That's how it works. You have to get through all your questions. I think this bloke's talking about spit. And it's not gonna be not gonna be that normal when I ask, can I keep a kitten in it? A victory though, Ham. Congratulations. Unbelievable. I'm getting a panting. Is it gold balls or cheese? Or a sewing machine? Cause in tell us. Here's how it works. I have selected from the Trading Post an item, uh, and quite an odd item today. Really? Uh-huh. Uh, we're about to put the number of the seller in. Andy, you've got five questions. I do not know the item. Yeah, you've got five questions you ask the seller based on their response. Yeah. After five questions, a chime will sound, yep. and you have to try and guess the item. Current scores for this game, 4-1. I'm smashing you. 4-1 after about 50 matches. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's very difficult to win. I'm uh, pumped. I've, I'm assuming a character for today's call hand. Great. And uh, I've got my five questions that I'm not allowed to choose. Will you be using one of your three character voices? I've got this one. Is what, I use my own voices, one of my character voices. Mine slightly higher and mine slightly slower. I'm going for the third. Oh, very good. <laughs> Here we go. The number's in. Hello? Uh, yeah, hi, it's Mick here. I was just um, wanting to inquire about your item in the trading post. Right. Yep. Yeah, I'm setting up a bar and um, thought I might wall mount it, put it on the wall. How heavy is it? It's 10 pound. 10 pound? 10 pound, 2 ounces. That's great. That's not uh, too heavy at all. Now, um, I, don't know. I don't know if you... Well, I don't know whether the ad was right or not, whether it said the right colour. It's red, you know. It's red. Oh, that's yeah. great. And now, are there a heap of them like yours, or is yours a bit of one of a kind? Oh, well, mine come from the US. Does it really? Right, because it's um, in grey with Coca-Cola on one side, and then on the other side it's got a Coca-Cola bottle top lid on the other side, engraved into it. Mmm, that's, uh, that's fantastic. That'll work. Great in the bar. How long is it? What do you mean by how long is it? Like how 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 wide is it? Oh, probably be a six to eight inches, I'd say. Six to eight inches. That's great. Now is um is yours a plastic one? Well, I think it's uh, poly plastic or some sort of stuff they make it out of. Yeah, the strong strong plastic. And um, if I was to put it in the kitchen of the pub. What can I hold in it? What can I... Could I put utensils in it? No, no, you can't put anything in it. It's got no holes in it. It's got... That's n- the thing about it. It's brand new. It's brand spanking new. It's never been used. No holes in it? No, it's got no finger holes in it. Finger holes? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. so this bowling ball oh. that, you, uh, yeah. that you're selling, uh, how much was it oh, at? What a giveaway. How $100. Much? $100. All right, well, I might call you back. Yep, okay then. Okay, thank you. Right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what a giveaway! Yes! What a giveaway! <laughs> I had no idea until the Why finger... did he say that? It could have been anything! <laughs> and there's you thinking it's like six to eight inches long. <laughs> Perfect! It's as long as it is wide and tall. <laughs> it it's a sphere. sphere. <laughs> <laughs> yes! 4 2. You're coming back, <laughs> Lee. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> that that was tough. Say finger holes. That was tough. Whew! Oh. Any idea what it was before that? No. Yeah, I thought you might have thought it was like a hat. <laughs> Is it golf balls or cheese? Or a sewing machine? Cause in dreaming, it's not quite what it seems. Hamish and Andy, driving you home, that was the opener for Tell Them They're Dreaming, the trading post game for new listeners. Hmm. Welcome. Welcome. We welcome you. But, uh, Ham, I've got the trading post here. Yeah. My turn today to pick out an item. You don't know what I've picked out. We ring the seller. You've got five questions to ask. Yep. Not knowing the item, gathering, gathering the information as you go after five questions. You have a chime sound, you have a guess. Yep. Uh, here's, here's the thing. Today I've gone a bit specific with my five questions. The first question is more of a statement. <laughs> <laughs> and depending on his answer to it, mm. I'll just, or her answer to it, I guess I'll just sort of, I don't know, feel out where I'm, like, where I'm sitting. Well, it does count. 
As yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know. Right. It's phrased as a question, but it's when you hear it, it's sort of it is more of a statement. All right, uh, it's going in the number now, and uh, good luck, sir. Four two, you are up at yes, the moment. Certainly am <laughs> expecting that to be five two very shortly. <laughs> I doubt it, but we'll see how we go. Whew, good luck, mate. Hello. Oh, you g'day, Matt. I was just uh, calling about you're out in the trading post. Yes. Well, what did you need to ask about it? Um, well, I'm actually, uh, I'm actually opening a theatre restaurant uh, soon. I was going to grab it because it's, uh, it's pretty futuristic looking, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, great. Um, mate, I was going to hang it from the roof. How heavy is it? Uh, it weighs in at about just shy of 400, 400 kilos. Yeah, that's what I thought, about 0.4 of a tonne. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Uh, still got the manual? Uh, I do. I have everything, all paperwork with it. Um, it even comes with warranty, which I don't think you'll be <laughs> no, using. But, no, no, um, no. It's, uh, it's Unless uh, we lose a few kilos off yeah. it. Um, it. No bits are going to fall off when I hang it from the roof? No, no, no. No, no. nothing at all. And um, power cord or unpowered? Uh... Sorry, what do you mean? Hmm. Uh, it's, I take it it's just... Uh, Wrap it up. So, uh, all right, mate. So, uh, no, I'm, I'm be quite interested in, uh, in coming to, to pick up uh, <coughs> this pool. Is it a pool or a truck? Or an elephant? Just a massive thing? It's a jet ski, mate. It's a jet ski. Angelo. All right, who's this? It's Hamish and Andy here. We're playing a game called the Trading Post game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought it might be a pool yes. or a truck, a futuristic-looking small truck. How can you hang a pool from the roof, you idiot? <laughs> can you hang anything that's 400 kilograms from the roof? <laughs> uh, Angelo, sorry to bother you. Hamish didn't know the item, but he had to do the asking of the questions. I did because I picked it out, and that is the worst game I think you've ever played, Hamish. 400 kilos? I wasn't expecting that. That's massive. A jet ski is really 400 kilos. It is, it is. Yeah. Yep, he's not Spice lying to you, mate. Floats. <laughs> <laughs> no, she sounds like a ripper, Angela. Uh, I'll have a think about it. Okay. 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 Thanks, thanks, for, thanks for being on the show, mate. <laughs> not a problem. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that was terrible. I've gone I knew na- when I, I knew nautical when I guessed... themed. I went nautical themed. You should have picked up on that. I knew when I guessed elephant. <laughs> I was way off. <laughs> yeah, no, it is an elephant. No power cord, and we're happy for you to hang it from the roof. <laughs> is it gold balls or cheese? Or a sewing machine? Cousin, tell them they're dreaming. It's not quite what it seems. Tell them they're dreaming, otherwise known as the Trading Post game, Ham. My turn to play today. 4 2 Ooh. is the current uh, score. Score. And I think it's going to stay that way. If you've not heard the game before, it's probably it's the game on the show with the lowest amount of success. But I think most, ever, but the most exciting. Oh, it's the most exciting game. But I think probably out of any radio contest ever, this is probably the least successful. Mm. Like we very rarely have a successful case. But good luck today, Ando. Play Here's along, how it works. Playing along in your cars. I have picked an item from the trading post today. Andy does not know what that item is. I'm going to call the seller. You've got five questions, Ando. Yep. At the end of five questions, you will hear this chime. Then, based on the information the seller has revealed to you, hmm. you have to guess what the item is. I'm ready to go. Okay. Got the questions. Hello? Uh, hello. I'm just ringing to inquire about your item in the trading post. Yeah, what, uh, what, what, what are you after? Yes, yeah, so I just uh, I run a photography studio, and I just needed the item for a few shots. Uh, first of all, um, I just need to get it up some stairs. It's a square staircase in the apartment. I am the studio's at the top. Will that be a problem? Is it too bulky to get up the stairs? Um, how far is it up? Oh, what do you mean? You want to hire it? No, no, no. No, I'll buy it. I'm just going to use it for a few shots. But it'll get up the stairs all right. It's not too big. Hey, the stairs up there, what, what sort of stairs are they? Uh, just, a spiral or...? No, just a square apartment staircase. Oh, yeah? How many people do you reckon you've got... Well, um, two You need pe- at least four people to go up there, unless, unless you can use a trolley. Uh, four people, perfect. That, that's all I need. Uh, what, yeah. what colour is it? I need to match the it's size. It's grey colour. It's grey. I thought it might yeah. be. Fantastic. And um, how many kids could I lay across it for uh, the photo that I want to take? Which, why are you going to lay them, like, on the, sitting down on them, or...? 
probably just asleep babies. How many babies could I lay on top of it? Well, you're probably only two. It's only it's as wide as a man, uh, no, every average man. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And so um, you, you're talking about uh, sideways, uh, from side to side. Yes, from side to side. Uh, if if I lay it on its side, could I fit more babies? Well, you lay what on the side? The item. No, you can't do that because it's got it's electric, but it's also got hydraulic in it. Ah. And it'll leak out. It? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, of course. And um, is it uh, does it still work in picking up things? Everything it works. Everything works. Uh, you can turn it around and to three hundred and sixty degrees. And Good luck. You, you, well, sorry. Fantastic. Well, I'll. Um, I'd it's love. It. I'd love to come past and see it. Uh, it being a, uh, a little. Um, Kind of front end loader, little bobcat, small bobcat. What? <laughs> it fit in, do you reckon? What is it? What, what, what do you mean? That's uh, what a trolley. A trolley will do. But what? What is the item again? You're talking about the the dental chair, aren't you? Oh, the, that's the one. The dental chair. <laughs> Oh, um, bugger. Um, no, I didn't think it was a dental chair. I thought it was. Well, uh, I'll call you back. All right. Okay. No way. So, thank you. Bye. Bye. You do a 360 in it, mate. Three you lay more than two babies across the trolley. <laughs> front end loader. You lay about ten babies on a front end loader. That's how they measure them. <laughs> ten Bs long. No, I thought it was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate, she's pretty good, 10 B. We've got a 12 B unit, but uh, we'd have to order that in from Japan. <laughs> Is it golf balls or cheese? Or a sewing machine? Cause in the dreaming It's not quite what it seems. Danny, driving you home at the open air for Tell Them the Dreaming, uh, the Trading Post game ham. I have got the Trading Post in front of me. I've picked out an item. Uh, about to ring this person at random. They don't know we're calling. And um, you've got five questions to ask of the seller, not knowing the item yourself. Yep. Then a chime will sound. You have to have a crack at it. Ando, my first question here is maybe one of the best questions either of us have ever thought of <laughs> for Tell Them the Dreaming. You think? It, I, I'm going to ask about something that I reckon every everything I can think of has at least a bit of this on it. And what? And then you're hoping he elaborates. No, it's it. like a colour. Okay. okay. I reckon I might even get it after one. Well, I'm putting the number in now, so let's see how you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, g'day, mate. I'm just uh, calling about your ad in the trading post. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm actually trying to track it down because my dad had one. And yeah. uh, I just want to make sure it's the same uh, same one that he had. I'd love to replace it for him. He uh, he lost his. Yeah. Has it uh, got the, 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 like, the black bits on it? What do you mean black bits? Yeah, like just uh, the sort of the edging or the, like, you know, the little sort of, the, you know, the little black bits? You mean the, uh, the, uh, the foot and something like that? Yes, that is what I meant. Very good. Good to hear. Uh, got a string or a rope? Does it have the, the string on it or, like, the rope uh, connection? To the belt. The belt. Yes, that is what I meant. That's a relief. Yep. Good to hear it's got the belt. Um, yep. And it's the, it's the bigger size. It's, like, one of the bigger ones that you can get, isn't it? Uh, and they're, and they're, they're, yeah, they're, they were the biggest, yeah. It's called B, uh, B, uh, ni- B two, uh, B97 something. Yes. Oh, that's good to hear. B97. I was scared it was a B95. But it's the B97 is good, good news. Music to my ears, I'll tell you that much. And it's waterproof, obviously. Waterproof? Yeah. Mm, I, I don't know about that. I've never put it in the water. <laughs> no, I mean, certainly neither would I. I'm not a maniac. But um, it's just nice to know in case there's a sudden uh, surge of water coming through the room. And how, how often were you using it? Um, well, uh, we use it maybe once or twice a week, like on a, for only a couple of hours. Yep. Yeah, it's been with me for nearly 10 years. No, I know. It's, well, it's a bloody workhorse, isn't it? It's one of the best you can get. It's the B97, for God's sake. And yeah. uh, I'd, expect, uh, I'd expect it would certainly put in a good innings, like 10 years. Yep. Yeah. No, look, I think, um, <laughs> Have a guess. I think I'd be quite interested in purchasing that conveyor belt. Yeah. Is it a conveyor belt? No. 
a conveyor belt. I, I, don't, I don't know about that. Sorry, what item are you selling? The sewing machine. Sewing machine. That's exactly what you're selling. Aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, sl- yes, you are selling a sewing machine. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, the, I was after the B97 conveyor belt. Um, I'll have a think about it, mate. I'll call you back. <laughs> okay. Thank Thanks, you. mate. <laughs> A big loss. Huge. You had no idea. I had no idea. (laughs) Not a bad question. (laughs) Because I thought he said the feet. He did say the feet, didn't he? He said it had feet. The foot. The The foot. foot. Yeah, like that's your pedal. (sighs) Of course. The foot. (laughs) I just imagined a big conveyor belt. (laughs) He said the word belt. I've heard belt. I thought he's not selling a regular belt. It can only mean one thing. Conveyor belt. (laughs) Household conveyor belt. Is it golf balls or cheese? Sewing machine, cousin, tell them the dreaming. It's not quite what it seems. Look, that was the opener. For tell them they're dreaming. The trading post came out. I haven't played it for a couple of weeks. Mm. And if the scoreboard is correct, I believe I lead this contest two to four. Yes, four two. Four two in your favour. Yeah, uh, disappointing. I thought I'd start with the losers' score. Yes. Two to four. The idea of the game, if you've not heard it before, mm. is Andy. I am going to pick something from the trading post today. You got it right there. You don't know what the item it is. Nope. I'm going to call the seller. Yep. Connect you two together. You get five questions to ask the person selling this item. Not knowing what the item is, and after five, I have to have a guess. A chime will sound after five questions. Ham, my last question is a strange one. Uh huh. I think it'll either be uh, fruit, it'll be very fruitful for me. Yep. Or a waste of a question. <laughs> I'd probably back the latter. No, no. Okay. Have you, you often like to have a little character. Do you have a yes. little yeah, story? I've, I've gone for a contemporary uh, museum kind of manager. Oh, yeah. Because you know so much about art. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here, here we go. go. Hello. Uh, hello. It's Malcolm speaking. I was just inquiring about your ad in the trading post. Yes. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm uh, I'm in charge in the of the contemporary display at the museum, and I've been trying to track down this item for some time. Uh, now, what what year do you think yours is? Well, it's an old. It's an old. I think it's a Rover um, with an old British Stratton on it. Um, it, it. It turns over fine. It's just been sitting in the shed for years and years and years. You know. Yeah, you don't know the exact year. Oh, I mean, old. I reckon it would be possibly. Uh, maybe 70, 60, 70, something like that, you know? Yep, yep, that's why we've got our eye on it at the <laughs> museum. <laughs> you want to use it for a display or something, don't Yes, you? that's what we're thinking. Um, uh, we're thinking, um, do you reckon it would be better in a backyard setting, just for the background of the display, or more of an indoors setting? Um, well, it's pretty clean. You could put it in either, really. You know, it's not leaking oil or anything like that. It's, um, you'd, you'd pretty good go if you just probably clean the car out. It's been in fire for a full and run, you know? Oh, okay. It's, it's just old granddad's kind of thing. It's just been sitting around and passed yeah. away and sort of, you know. Sure, I might use it in, the, in a backyard set. Yeah. Um, how heavy would it be if we were to hang it just so uh, more people could see it? Yeah, you can hang it. It's uh, not that heavy. Um, it's only a little bit, 3.5 uh, horsepower motor. And uh, just handlebars and, you know, a little couple of little dummy wheels and, and that's about it, really. You know? Okay. Probably, right. would, probably weigh about 50 kilos, I suppose, something like that, maybe. 50 you know? kilos. Not even that. I don't think that. Maybe even about 30 or 40, you know. Okay. Know, compare it to a bag of concrete, really. Yeah. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> but, I mean, what, one man could easily pick it up, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, would we, uh, if we, if we were to have it in, in use, um, how loud is it? Would it distract from the other displays? Uh, probably not, no. It's just got your typical little, um, just a big sort of screw-in sort of exhaust. It's all original. Um, not, not very loud, it's sort of, you know, pop, 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 sort of thing, you know. Four, four strike. Four strike. Okay, and, um, and obviously uh, cats are traditionally scared of this item as the, uh, as the nursery rhyme goes. What, why do you think that is? Uh, what what cats are scared of them? Yes, yeah, the nursery rhyme says. Uh, why do you think that is? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think they're probably naturally scared of everything. That's, that's a that's a good point. Waste of a question. Uh, I think it's a self preservation thing, really. Big yeah, waste, yeah. big waste of a question. Okay. Well, I thought I'd uh, come around and um, and have a look at the uh, the pump you have. The the pump. Um, have I got a pump to sell? What what, what what are you selling? Um, well, 
it's an edger. But the one you're looking at about was the edger, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a garden edger. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Nowhere near a pump. Nowhere near uh, a pump. What a massive mistake. Sorry for wasting your time. Well, that's all right. No what worries. a stupid series of questions. Thank you, sir. <laughs> all right, buddy. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> it's, it's Hamish and Handy driving you home. <laughs> what nursery rhyme? I just like the fact that you just came in at the end and you thought that it was me. thought it was the same person. Everyone thinks we're the same person. <laughs> The drive home, the opener there to tell them they're dreaming and the mm. trading post game. Yep. Uh, for people who have just joined the show or aren't regular listeners, welcome, of course. But this game involves me today picking an item out of the trading post, Ham. You don't know what the item is. We're about to put the number in. No, it's never an easy one, though. No. <laughs> never have I rung up and gone, hmm, is it a bike? <laughs> but uh, you don't know. You've got five questions to ask of the seller. After five questions, a chime will sound. That means you have to have a guess. Uh, based off the information you've gathered. I've got to say, I'm pretty happy with my st- my angle this week. Really? I'm pretending I've got my son with me for the school holidays, yep. so I've got to buy him something that'll you know, keep- that'll keep him entertained. Okay. Well, I'm not sure. Well, we'll see how you go with this, all right? Yeah, we will but see, we'll mate. We'll Don't appreciate your smugness, because I'm very good at this game. Isn't the score 3-1? <laughs> it is 3-1. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see how we go. Good afternoon, my name's Daryl. I'm just calling about your advertisement in the Trading Post. Uh, yeah. Um, I've got the kids with me at the moment. It's uh, school holidays. Just wondering if it's safe for a nine-year-old to be around. Uh, nine-year-old? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Very good. Uh, are there any sharp parts on it? Uh, sh- uh, 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 not sharp edges. No sharp edges. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so it's yeah. quite smooth. That is... that is. One of the ones I wanted. He's very scared of the colour blue. Are there any blue bits? Uh, yeah, blue is available, yeah. Blue is available. Okay, well, I won't get one of those because he's terrified of blue. Uh, how often How often do you use it? Uh, can you use it uh, two to three times per week? Hmm. Okay, I might even use it four, but you never know. You never know. Two to three seems like a good amount yeah, of time to use it. My son, my son likes no- things that make noises. A lot, he's fascinated by noise. What kind of a noise does it make? Can you t- just demonstrate for me what sort of noise it makes? Noise? Yeah. Uh, like a boo, just like the water was boiled. Boo, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. No, like okay. boiling water. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It actually comes from the steamer. Does and, it? Uh, Have a go. Okay. Um. Very good. Well, I am thinking two or three times a week. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I like the idea of perhaps coming past and buying a non-blue yeah. pressure cooker. Non-blue, yeah. Yes. No. What What are you selling? Uh, a steam model. Yeah. And there's a steam. firefighter model. A portable so- steam sauna. sauna. Yeah. A portable <laughs> sauna. I've never heard of oh such God. a thing. I've yeah. never heard of such a thing, sir, but it sounds like a terrific <laughs> item. Perhaps yeah. I'll come past and get one for my son to keep him entertained during the holidays. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Uh, yeah. I love that you're getting your nine-year-old a sauna. <laughs> Can't wait to go to Dad's house. Get me a sauna. Maybe next year we'll get me a, a golf course. <laughs> Is it golf balls or cheese or a sewing machine? Cause in tell them they're dreaming, it's not quite what it seems. Hey, Mr. Addy, for the drive home, that was the intro for the Trading Post game. Tell them they're dreaming, Ham, for new listeners. Welcome. Welcome. Of and course. Feel free to play along, but do not expect to win because it's probably the hardest game yeah. we've on this show. After about a year of playing this, the scores are myself, Hamish, reigning king, champion, and ruler of the game, three. Andy, dunce, and general idiot, one. <laughs> well, I think that's, that's fair. A bit rough. <laughs> Here's how it works I have the trading post in front of me. I have picked out an item. Ando does not know the item. We're about to put the number into the system here. I have written uh, down five pre written questions that I have to 
to ask of the seller. Based on the information I gather, I have a guess as to what the item is because I don't know. A chime will sound after my five questions. Do you have a bit of a backstory, Andrew? I, go, I have. I'm going to go with uh, a bloke called Nathan who's building a float at next year's Mardi Gras. I have so, picked the item. This will be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Hello. Uh, g'day, it's Nathan here. I'm just inquiring about your ad in the trading post. Oh, I see, yes. Oh, OK. I just had a few questions about it. Um, uh, I'm making a float for next year's Mardi Gras in Sydney and uh, so I wanted to use it on top of the float. So just a couple of questions for you. Price isn't uh, a problem if I get the right one. What colour is it? Oh, they're old. They're, 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 uh, they're second-hand ones, of course. That's fine, yeah, of course. Um, what what colour, though? Oh, there, let me see. I've got to pick up a colour out of my head. Grey almost. Grey, yeah, that's... We- weathered perfect. timber. Grey, a grey weathered timber. What, how, how heavy is it, do you think? Each piece would be, I reckon, 50 kilos. 50 kgs. Or say 40, 40 50, kilos. 40 kgs. Oh, All right. Helpful. How many of them um, would fit on the back of a regular uh, flat tray truck, do you think? When you say a flat tray, is that a ute or is that a tray? Yeah, just a tray, not a ute, just a tray. Uh, oh, you get them all. You'd get. Uh, we've only got one, two, three, four. By one, two, three, four. There's probably only twenty here. That's all right. Um, how many? How many do you think you get on the back of a truck? I'll take. Could I get all twenty? Do you think? Oh, easy. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was thinking of trying to attach a seat to one of them, uh, so one of us could ride it. Um, would it take the weight, would one of them, a single one, take the weight of a grown man? Oh, you'd put ten men on it. Whoa, that, there's a party. All oh, right, fantastic. Yeah, they're, they're about uh, oh, ten inches wide, probably uh, nearly five inches deep. Are they? But they are weathered. There's a nail or two in a couple of them. Okay, well, we can look out for those. And um, tell me... Uh, what outfit uh, do you think people would normally wear while um, while using it or being around the item, just so we can get well, the float you, you right? Well, you need some sort of a, a, a stack hat, which we can give you one for nothing from here. Well, I, when I say a stack hat, it's a, it's a hard hat thing. I can give you one of those. To, to use the item? It's an item which is what they call a hard hat. Construction workers wear them. Yeah, that would work perfectly, I think. Have a well, you can have that as an accessory if you like. You yeah, that might be the, the accessory. So a hard hat, they're, they're 20 inches by 10, and you've got 20 of them. Yep. Weighing 40 kilos. So obvious. That's, that's under a ton. Yeah. That's good news. Um, I reckon it, it, it might be worthwhile coming around and um, seeing these old uh, church benches you have. Yep, well, give me a ring when you want to come down and I can make sure I'm here because I'm, I'm not here every day. So I've got it. No, nah, you have it. What, where, where what, about you, what, you? What, are you, what are you selling? Oh, I'm selling all sorts of things here. There's... So what, 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 what item were we talking about? Of the sleepers. Sleepers. Railway Please. sleepers. Railway sleepers, yes. Yes, oh. yes. Okay. Um, thank you very uh, Thanks very much. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll give you a call straight back. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay. It's going to be a heck of a Mardi Gras float, <laughs> just made from 20 railway sleepers. Joe, Some have got, got nails that. in them. Some have got nails. No, getting nailed is not a problem. I was going to say Fits just... with the theme. Is it golf balls or cheese? Or a sewing machine? Cause in dreaming, it's not quite what it seems. Driving you home. That was the intro for Trading Post Game. Tell them they're dreaming, Ham. Uh, we should point out at the start of that jingle, we've had a few questions uh, from people <laughs> on the email over the weeks. It, it, people saying, what's the first line of that jingle? Yeah. Uh, we've had someone say, does it say, is it gold for a sheep is or it- a sewing machine? That's incorrect. It's, uh, it's actually, is it golf balls or cheese or a sewing machine? Um, so, again, right up there with uh, Excuse Me While I Kiss This Guy in uh, Excuse Me While I Kiss the Sky. Miss her lyrics. Have. As famous as Hendrix. As famous. <laughs> hey, um, uh, my job today, I've got the, the, the trading post right here. I'll pick out a, uh, an item from the trading post. You don't know the item. You've mm-hmm. got five questions to ask. Yeah. After I think you've asked your five I'll sound a chime yep. if they won't hear. And you have to have a guess as to what the item might be. I think I have a pretty good backstory today. Good, good. This one I have, I'm going to make it kind of caravan of courage related. I think this might keep us safe. All right? Gun. 
Well, no. Anyway, let's just that won't give us safe. I think that causes more trouble. <laughs> Put the number in giggling, Ben. Hi. Yeah, g'day, mate. My name's Dale. I'm just calling about your ad in the trading post. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, just, um, I'm actually uh, going on a reality TV show and I was thinking of taking it as my luxury item. Could come in handy. Uh, what kind of noise level are we talking? Um, I just need to make sure it won't scare any animals in the bush. Sorry, when you say... <laughs> are you for real? <laughs> yeah, I just need to know what, what's his maximum noise output. Oh, you mean as you're going along? Yep. Mate, look, I heard no noise coming out of it. And actually, I had roos and stuff jumping out in front of me, so I don't think it would annoy any animals at all. All right, yeah, great, great. To be honest, I mean, I've only used it a couple of times. How many hours a day have you been using it? Hours a day. Listen, I've gone out twice. Yep. For about two hours, both times. Good, that's right. What it is, is I bought a small. Uh, if you've got, what size are you? I'm an, um, I'll be a small, I reckon. That should be fine. Uh, what's the uh, what's the flimsiest bit? I need it to be fairly rugged. Any chance yeah. anything will snap off? Um, well, the visor is made of plastic. Yep. That's about the only thing that may snap off, but you can remove that. Mm-hmm. Good. It's got four. It's got four screws in it. So. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, great. That's actually fantastic. I've got a screwdriver, so that works well. One other thing. It's not powered, is it? No, no Pow- power requirements to the to the unit. Like, the screws themselves are just held in there, the standard screw. I don't understand where you're getting powered bit from. I thought it might have lights on it or anything like that. Oh, no, 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 no. It's got nothing like that. Yep. And it's just silver and, and yellow, basically. It's just a ripper. Yeah, it's a killer. Kill, kill and... Oh, hang on. I've got it here. Uh, I, had to buy, I had to buy an extra small. Yeah. But this one here, if I'll give you the size... Well, um, um, yeah, all right. And so it's just a... Is it, it's, it's a helmet... But it's got... Um, you got it. It's a helmet. It's a helmet. Yep. Sorry? It's a helmet. <sighs> it's just a helmet with a peak. I think so, that still counts as a helmet, though, doesn't it? <laughs> that's a helmet. <laughs> All right. That's a bloody helmet. That's going to be great. Yeah. We Are you coming to look at it or not? I've just got to win. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> See you, mate. you got to gotta win. I've won. What does that mean? Well, we're actually playing a game, <laughs> playing a game where uh, I've just rung a random number in the trading post, and uh, and Hamish here didn't know what what the item was, and so he was asking questions to try and guess it. But uh, obviously, he's got it now. It's a helmet. And what do I get out of it? Yeah, annoying phone call. <laughs> yeah, good on you, bud. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you to stick it up your ass. <laughs> well, that is not proper use of the helmet. I'll take the visor off before I do that. No, I think you better. <laughs> Thanks very much, mate. Swear, yeah, bud. You're listening to Hamish and Andy. It's another win. I can't believe good, it. Good helmet, Kent. the opener for the trading post game tell them they're dreaming ham yep where my job today to go through this uh, trading post and um, basically pick out something that you don't know what I've picked yep I uh, put that number in the system we call the person and you've got to ask them five questions based on the information they give you have a guess at what the item is I've That's... got a brilliant strategy today really yep what does it involve I don't think I'll tell you mate <laughs> <laughs> we're about to find out then <laughs> I'll pop in uh, the number here we go Hello? Yeah, hi, my name's Damien. I'm just calling about your ad in the trading post. Yes. Oh, uh, do, what do you mean? Just the billiard table? Or? Oh, she's giving it away. You there? Yeah, yeah yes. Uh, is yeah. it a billiard table, is it? Yes, it is. I thought it was a, a billiard label. So sorry about that. I've, I've, I've misread that. I've, it's a whole table. Yeah. Oh, a whole, sorry yeah. about that. I thought it was just a label that said billiards. No, why? What does the ad say? Do they stuff up on the ad or something? I'll oh, just get it now. I know, it says table. I got my hopes up. I'm looking at... Do, are you selling any billiard labels? How do you mean billiard labels? Well, you know what? Can you imagine a label? Yeah. Imagine it said billiards on it. Yeah. Could you sell me one of those? 
Uh, so just a little what? How big does the label have to be? How big have you got? No, I mean, what do you have? Like a, a credit card size or? I'd like it a bit bigger. How much bigger? How big could you go? Oh, look, I really don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm after a billiards label. Yeah, I know, but I've never heard of a billiard label with something, I... you know, like you not... a... Oh, are you familiar with the sport, billiards? Yeah, yeah. what, well, the actual, like, on the table with the stick and the balls? That's it. I'm looking for a label to label my billiards equipment. Look, I'm just trying to sell a private billiards table here and... So you guys, um... are you seeing a billiards label or a billiards table? Table. I thought you said label and I got my hopes up again. No, no, I've got a billiard table, you know, one of those big things with balls and accessories yeah. and the light that goes with it. And I'm selling that as a package. But not a label. Yeah. How do, you, do you ever, do you have a billiards label but you're not selling it? How do you label your billiard stuff? How do you mean label my billiard stuff? So you know what, what's your billiards stuff and what isn't? That's why I need a billiards label. Yeah, no, look, I can't help you out here. Okay. Well, that, the, the, the hunt continues. Oh, well, good luck with your hunt. Thanks very much. Sorry okay. we couldn't help each other out. That's all right. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> I, I know it's not really the game, but what do you, you do? You've forgotten to play the game. I know I forgot to play the game, but she said beans well, table. You... <laughs> she said beans table straight away, so I thought, you... maybe now I just cover the fact <laughs> that I've called you just her. Said we could have hung up. We could have thought I'd see what happened if you asked someone for a billiards label. It's, it's just not if, anyone, chat. if anyone has one, you can call them. Hey, it's time to play the trading post game. Tell them the dreaming. Uh, the jingle sounds like this. Is it golf balls or cheese? Or a sewing machine? Cause in tell them the dreaming. It's not quite what it seems. This game works. Is uh, you've picked out an item in the Trading Post today? I don't know the item. Yep, I have. And uh, do you know last ever paper edition of the Trading Post today? Really? And inside it, they have like a commemorative, like a reprint of the first ever Trading Post that they ever did in 1966. So yep. I'm tempted to go- put in today a 1953 <laughs> Vauxhall, um, which was selling for $150 back in the day. But I will go something from current t- times. Yes, the item goes into the phone system here. The number does. We call it, because I don't know it, I have five questions to ask before a bell will sound, and then I have to guess based on the information I've gathered. I'm going to go with a bit of a, a uni student character today. Hey? Whoever you go with, mate, you're not going to win. No one ever does. <laughs> it's one of the hardest games we've ever invented. Well, play along in your car. Hey, and put the number in. Hello? Yeah, I was just in uh, inquiring about your ad in the trading post. Yeah, mate. Yeah, how can I help you? Yeah, yeah, just um, just doing a uni scavenger hunt, and so I've just got some pretty uh, particular uh, questions about it. Yeah, go for it. Uh, sure, sure. What, what, what colour is it? Yellow. Yellow. All right, cool. And d- would, it fit, would it fit through a doorway? No, no, it's, uh, you, no, it doesn't fit through a doorway. It lifts 4.2 metres. Oh, 4.2 metres. All right. How many people would it take to carry it? <laughs> hey, so, who's this? Quick, I'm busy. Sorry, just how many people would it take to carry it? About 63, or just one of me. 63 people to carry it? Yeah, that's, that's how many people. Oh, OK. Would there be any accessories I need to buy with it? Absolutely not. It's all together. And um, do I do I plug it in? Is it electrical powered or? No, no, it's right just, just gas. Just gas. Straight gas. Just gas powered. Yeah, who is this terrorist? No. My name, What's your name? My name's Darren. Darren, you rat. <laughs> what? Darren, you rat. I'm going. Why the attack? Why the attack? <laughs> what? What's the attack? Do you know for? what it is? Oh, I've got a fair idea, but... Well, you are a rat, so I don't know if rats do know well, what they're let's doing. let's call him back and call I'll, have, back. I'll have a I want to hear him call you a rat again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's call him. Let's call him. Hello? Oh, kiddo, you just, um, just, I was just speaking to someone and it's just dropped out. Oh, 
um, yeah, she would have been speaking to Tony. He's sorry, he's, he's working on a machine at the moment and it interferes with a mobile phone. Oh, OK. Can, can I help you? Sure, sure. I just uh, had finished up my, my questions. Yeah. Um, so it was yellow and it's, yeah. and it's about 4.2 metres wide and, and 63 people would be required to carry it and um, it's all included and it's powered by gas. Sorry, who's this? It's Darren. So is it? Um, so I might come round and buy the um, the tractor. Uh, it's not a tractor. What is it? It's a forklift. Oh, that's close. That's not a tractor's not a forklift though, is it? A tractor's a forklift. No. Oh my god, this is Hamish and Andy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Tony <laughs> hung up on Andy. <laughs> my husband so hung up on you and goes, "Um, so, wasting my time." Yeah, I think Tony <laughs> called Andy a rat. Oh my god, Tony, it's Hamish and Andy. <laughs> Can we get Tony oh, again? Because I think second, he second, needs to judge if a forklift is a tractor or a forklift is close. not a tractor. <laughs> hang on a second, I'm popping one. It's Amy Sandy. Are you kidding? <laughs> Tony, Tony is a fork. I, I guess tractor. We're playing a game where I have to ask questions. I don't know what the item is because Hamish put the number in the phone here. Uh, so is it? I guess a tractor. From from what I was told, is Tony, it- it's not a tractor. Forklift's not a tractor. I mean, you can be the judge here, but there's no way Andy has won that. No way, mate. Not oh, at all. Yeah. Piss off, Tony, you rat. <laughs> Tony, why were you calling Andy, you rat? I could not believe that. I didn't know you were... Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, Tony, thank you very much for uh, for playing today. No worries. We know no you're busy. Worries, buddy. <laughs> See you, mate. See ya. See ya. Oh. Is it golf balls or cheese? Or a sewing machine? Cousin, tell us. the intro to the Trading Post game, Ham, and uh, scores are... 4-2. 4-2. 4-2. And they have not moved for a long time. <laughs> this it's is, a tough game. This is where I picked something out of the Trading Post today, uh, and Ham, you don't know what the item is. We'll put the number in the system here, call yep. them, and you get to ask them five questions, then a little chime will sound. There it is. Yep. And uh, the, after that, you have to have a guess. Now, now, I've got a bit of a different strategy today, Ando. Really? Because we're often like, oh, you know, where was it made? What colour is it? What's it made out of? Mm. What about just starting sentences Mm -hmm. and hoping that they finish the sentence to give me a bit of a clue? (laughs) Okay. That's my tactic. That will be count as a question for every sentence started, just so you know. I accept. And, uh, and, uh, hey, I'm going to go, because we're in our taxi cabs tonight. Yeah. Taxi themed. Is it a taxi? No. Okay. Is it an air freshener? It could help you. Could help you. Anyway, we'll put the number in. Hello, this is Jay. Oh, g'day, mate. My name's Simon. I'm just calling about your ad in the trading post. Yeah, for sure, mate. Far away. Oh, thanks for that, mate. Uh, look, um, I'm, I'm just wondering how much did you pay for it? Um, I think I paid, like, nearly 600 when I got them for... Oh, yeah? With the, they range between 400 and 600 when I, when, I, when I bought them, I'm pretty sure. Yep. And, uh, and obviously you're selling it for... Uh, for a bit more than that, if yeah. I can, yeah. Yeah, all right. I haven't, I haven't displayed them, so... Yeah, no, um, that's good. They're, they're still at the licensing centre as new. All right, yep. I'm taking the young fella camping, so obviously I was thinking of getting them just to, you know... Hmm. Just, you know, I thought they would be good to take. Are they, they, are they German or Australian made? Sorry, mate, are you, are you for real or... What's... So I, I I don't think you've got the right number, buddy. Mm, I, I, look, I am interested. I'm a, I'm an interested buyer because I know some are German made and some are Australian. I just wanted to know where they were made. Oh, I have no idea, buddy. Yeah, I just got them ordered through the licensing centre. Okay, all right, and they'd fit in the boot, all right, of a '96. I got a '96 Fairlane uh, station wagon. <laughs> 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 What's wrong with that? What's he talking about? Well, you... Can I have a stab? Do you want to ring him back? Yeah, I think so. I reckon I might know it, though. Really? Well, he gave a little bit away. Okay, do you want to have a guess? I mean, uh, well, I've, uh, you have to go with the questions you've written down. Yeah. So, obviously, he was very confused by the fact that I wanted to take them camping. Yeah. But um, getting him through the licensing centre, 
Are they number plates? Number is plates. A, is it a <laughs> novelty pla- number it's plate? It's a novelty number plate for your cab. Oh, my it, cab. It, what, it, what were they? What does it say? Exhilarate. That's exactly <laughs> how I drive. Does that count as a win? That's a win. <laughs> Oh, my God, what a historic day. We become taxi drivers and it's the first win in, like, a year. Oh, <laughs> the trading post game. I'm glad I didn't get to the next bit. What's the heaviest bit? <laughs> All of it. And I wouldn't carry them in your boot either, mate. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why you hung up, mate. Traditionally, they are on the outside of the boot on a Fairlane station wagon. <laughs> Shani, driving you home. You've just heard the opener for the Trading Post game, Ham. I've, I think I've been lenient today in picking an item because there was an item in the Trading Post I wanted to t- pick, which was 15 used train, bus and ferry tickets, <laughs> which were billed as a valuable addition to anyone's collection. I know my collection could use them, which would take it to a grand total of 15. <laughs> uh, but that will be difficult for you to guess. For well, people that haven't heard the segment here, yeah. I pick an item. You don't know what it is. We're going to call the person that's selling that. You've got five Five questions to ask. Pre written down. Pre-written after down. that five after those five questions, a little chime will sound that yep. sounds like this. And then you have to guess have what, to the, guess item what is. the item is. Uh, I think it's four two to you. Uh, At least. uh, I remember having a very dominant year last year. After about 1,300 games. (laughs) It's the easiest game to win, but God loves a trial. Play along in your cars, uh, the numbers going in. Hello. Oh, hello. It's Dave Nesbitt here. I just uh, wanted to have a few questions about your ad in the trading post. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I've actually got one as well. Uh, but I'm not really quite sure uh, how to use it. Uh, so would you mind just answering a few questions? You've got one as well of what? Uh, of, the, of, of, of what you're selling, because uh, I'm thinking you're getting another one. Do you keep yours inside or outside? Um, inside. Inside. Great. I thought so. Um, how heavy is your one? Uh, I don't know, man. Okay, uh, can you go ballpark for me, or I don't know, a couple of kilograms. Two, two kg. Yep, great. What are the handles on your one made of? No, no handles, mate. Oh, you've got a handleless one. Okay. No, there's no handles. Okay, yep. Um, do you have to replace many parts over the years? No. So no. And um, do you let anyone else use it? No. Nah. It's, it's tough. It's really tough. Are you both calling off the radio, are Yeah, you? we are. I yeah, just yeah. don't have any. Yeah, we got <laughs> nothing. We got nothing. Uh, <laughs> what was your name again, mate? Glenn. All Glenn. I know is it's in... It's in. Glenn. <laughs> I, I, will, I will pledge $1 million if Andy can guess this item. Don't... Uh, can I have one more guess? Oh, you, one, well, more, one more question, here. take back the million dollar okay. prize because Glenn might stitch me up here. <laughs> one more question? Yeah. Um, Glenn, is it uh, bigger than a hand? Nah, smaller. What do you mean? Smaller than uh, a hand. No, sorry, no, bigger than a hand. Sorry, yeah, bigger sorry. than a hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I going to say, yeah. when, when people hear what this is, it's going to, uh, it would almost be physically impossible. Bigger than a hand. Bigger than a hand. That's not going to help you. <laughs> there are a lot of things in the world that are still bigger than a hand. It, two kilograms, you keep it inside. I reckon, uh, Glenn. It's handleless, which it's handleless. also includes about 100 <laughs> billion items on earth. Uh, it's a brick. <laughs> No. What is it, Glenn? That's a manly flag. Oh! (laughs) It's a flag? Signed flag. Great bit of memorabilia, isn't it, Glenn? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, terrific. Handleless. (laughs) Yes. Uh, Glenn, we won't be needing that. Glenn, good job. Uh, I like the way you played your cards. Very close to your chest there. Uh, And I have saved a million dollars. So I'll I'll buy your beer next time I see you. All right, Mark. Cheers, mate. Bye. Cheers, Glenn. Bye. <laughs> Glenn, not a massive talker, was he? Just shell it a bit. Yeah, he just, just played his cards very close <laughs> to his chest. Is it golf balls or cheese? Or a sewing machine? Cause in the dreaming, it's not quite what it seems. Hey, Shani, driving.
you home. That was the intro yep. for the Trading Post game. Tell them the dream. You're up 4 2. And um, I'm clearly better at this game than you, yet you persist every week to continue to play it. You want to keep playing it. I mean, when do we stop, Ando? It's when first, I'm up. Uh, well, classic game, first to seven. <laughs> <laughs> first to seven, I think we've been playing it for two years. <laughs> and I uh, I am on four. Yeah. And I look forward to extending that lead. Here's how it works if you've not heard it before. Andy, you are currently on the tradingpost.com.au. Yep. No longer a paper. Got to no. get your bargains online now. That's right. You've selected an item. Now, we're going to call the number of whoever's selling that item. I've got five questions. Yeah, then this chum will sound and Haim. After that, you have to have a guess based on the information you've gathered from your five questions, not knowing the item. I got a pretty good angle today, I think. Really? Yep. You, we, we, we both say it to each other a lot. <laughs> and I'm a wizard and I need something for my spells. <laughs> oh, it's ringing. It's ringing. Hello. Oh, hello. My name's Neil. I'm just calling about your ad in the trading post. Yes, yes. Yep. Um, just a minute. The dog is... <laughs> no, I understand. Nothing Take your time. Yeah, sorry. Oh, all fine, all fine. Not in a hurry. Yep. Um, just, I'm actually, uh, I'm off on a trip to America and I was uh, thinking of taking it with me. Oh, Okay. Um, that seems reasonable. Uh, I was just wondering, is it, uh, I've got to obviously get a power adapter over there. They run on different power yeah, systems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is it power hungry? No, no, it's not too bad, actually. Oh, good. It should be all right. I mean, and um, the, if you don't need this, I mean, yeah. it comes on a stand. Uh, yes, but, I thought so, because yeah. I don't want to just put it on the floor. No, It's no. nice to have it up yeah, at sort the, of about the height of a stand. Yeah, but the, uh, but the stand, uh, I don't think, will fold. That's the problem. That's okay. That's, That's okay? okay. Will it fit in a suitcase? Uh, hang on, let me have a look. It, it might come apart, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, if, if I was going to take it on the plane with me, mm. you couldn't use it as a weapon. Could you use any sharp bits on it? Any? No, no, I mean, um, no, you couldn't use it as a weapon. You can knock somebody out with a cover. <laughs> Could I? Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah sure. And, uh, okay. No, I don't think they'll allow you to carry it in hand baggage, but in the, in the um, cargo you can take it. You yeah. know, come, I mean, chuck it in your, with your suitcase. Mm, yes, mm. you can. No, I'm That's very keen to take it. It because obviously you can imagine all the different applications and how handy it would be to have. Yeah, it, it's really nice, uh, nice and cute. It's small, but I can't be bothered cleaning it all the time. Right. And I land up with the cleaning and the <laughs> cooking and everything. So I said, forget it, I'm oh, not doing it. I bet you do. That's not fair. <laughs> yeah, get rid of it. Make some money. All right. <laughs> yes. And it's, uh, it's obviously top of the line. It's a good quality one. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, when I did use it, it was good. Yep. Yeah, you can come and have a look at it if you like. Yeah, okay. And what, what, what's the lowest price? you accept for this well, outstanding... Well, what price have you got? Well, what price are we, you know... What price would you like? Um, I want, my husband dropped it to 70-something, didn't he? Did he? Yeah. What an idiot. Because that's a good price. <laughs> yeah. Take it for 70. Yeah. Um, have a guess. Yeah. <sighs> but it, it, that, and that includes the stand, I yeah, would the hope. Whole lot oh, good, please. good, because I appreciate the convenience of a stand. Yeah. Um, mm. You want a tong? This is some tongs. Is... <laughs> yeah. No, great. I'll come over it and grab this. Uh, it's like a, it's a barbecue. Yeah. And I look forward to taking it to America. They oh, love barbecues. I can't can think I'm going to do it. Yes. Yeah, you can yes. Take the shrimp got on the barbecue. I've got it. I'll take the shrimp on the barbecue in America. I've got it. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Okay. We'll call you thank back. you so much. And when are you coming over? I'll be over. Over in a tick. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. All right, then. Thank you so much for more than you'll ever know. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Bye. Yes. You got it. Yes. Oh. The stand. She's throwing in the stand because she said cooking, cleaning. Did you think? Did you think until she said tongs at the end? Did yeah. you think barbecue? Because I was like, he could still think it's I was a rice clothes cook. horse for a while. Yeah. Rice cooker? Would you need a stand? <laughs> would you? Would you want your clothes to be up th- that? Would you want your rice to be up that, that high? high? Maybe. Maybe I mean, not. I'm, I'm not cooking rice on the floor. I want it to be up about waist high. Well done. Pants off Friday, Hamish Nanny driving you home. Time for... Is it gold balls or cheese? Or a sewing machine? Cause in Telem the Dreaming It's not quite what it seems Yes, Telem the Dreaming. A uh, very abrupt end there <laughs> yeah. to what I thought was a majestic opener. <laughs> um, the Trading Post game, yeah. Yeah, again, if you're new to the show, welcome. Welcome. But the way this works is I pick out something from the trading post. Mm-hmm. It's Hamish's turn to go today. Um, 
I pick up something from the Trading Post. Uh, for people to know what that is, it's basically a so, place where you sell things. It's like a, the old school eBay. Yep. Yeah. And if you don't know what eBay is, <laughs> we have to stop doing the definitions for you because we have a radio show to do. Um, hey, uh, I pick out an item. Yeah. You don't know what the item is. Don't need to. We put the call in yep. to the seller. Yep. And you only get five questions. Yep. I can't ask, obviously, I can't actually say what it is, but I can ask five questions about the item. Mm. After five, a chime will sound. Yes. At which stage I must guess what the item is. Very difficult game to win. We did play it for about two years on the radio show. The final scores were about 3-1. Yeah, I think you're up 3-1. So. <laughs> so I don't even need to win this one, but it would be some nice icing. Um, okay, some people like to play along their cars. So what we're going to do here, for people who want to know the item, oh. tune out as, as you would, Hayme. I've got to take headphones off, put other headphones on, yeah. turn my back on you so there's no <laughs> way of getting a free hit. Tune out for five seconds now. It's a pool table. Mm. Now, I think everyone's back. Uh, Haim, you're for the number to go in? I'm back in. I'm back on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hello? Oh, g'day there. My name's Damien. I'm just calling about your ad in the trading post. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I no, just uh, had a couple of uh, questions, if that's all right. Yep. Oh, what what colour is it, apart from the metal? Like, apart from any of the... If, if it's got any metal on it. That's uh, all wood. Yeah, yeah. No, okay, good. Says, uh, good. Phew, uh, I don't like a lot of metal. Um, I, uh, I'm actually getting it as a surprise for my wife. Okay. Um, uh, is that, she'd be able to use this model? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, great. Okay. I'm going to put it in my koi pond, um, okay. like a goldfish pond. Uh, yeah. How much water do you think it would displace? Oh, fair bit. Yeah, fair bit, wouldn't it? Yeah, just trying to think of how much I need to drain the pond before I put it in the koi pond as a piece of art. Um, I might actually... I'm going to make a cover for it as well. Um, I've got, okay. I've just got, I'm at work at the moment. Can you give me a call oh, back? Yeah, sorry, just last, last question. Um, do, I'm going to make a cover for it. I've got 20 square metres of denim. I just need to know if that's enough. Yeah, okay. for sure. Yeah. So it's, it's, quite, it's quite small, isn't it? No, it's big. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, and what? How much do you want for the piano? It's a pool table. Yes, yes. it's a pool table. Oh, I think you're putting a piano on it. Okay, thank you. Bye. Oh. <laughs> it's been a lot. It's been a long time since we played that. Halfway through, I realised my questions did not help at all. <laughs> you had like three size questions. I just forgot. I forgot. I forgot what we were doing. <laughs> let's put it. Let's put that in pretty storage. Close. Let's, yeah, it's pretty a, close. Pretty good. From piano to pool table. Yeah, it's <laughs> quite a bad line of questioning. <laughs> All right, Jack. Put it in storage. <laughs> There we go. Wonderful. <laughs> Today the topic is online shopping. It's forced us to bring back one of our favourite games. Is it golf balls or cheese? Or a sewing machine? Cause in tell them they're dreaming It's not quite what it seems <laughs> All right. <laughs> I haven't heard that for about four years. Um, That's wonderful. Yeah, I forgot. I, we forgot this game was called Tell Them They're Dreaming. <laughs> Technically, more more commonly known as the Trading Post game. And yeah. uh, give us a recap of the rules. The game is simple. I've selected an item online this time, obviously online shopping from the Trading Post. Ham, you don't know the item, but you've mm-hmm. had five pre-written questions. Yeah. We're about to call the seller. You're not allowed to specifically ask any questions about what is the item <laughs> because that's going to give it away. But you go through your questions, yep. and after five, this bell will sound. Then you have to guess. You have to guess what the item was. So we it, should point out, we've played this probably 50 times. Yes, yeah, at least. And I think the scoreboard is like Four, two, two to me, one to you or something. <laughs> the, the, the scoreboard is very, very low. Yeah. Uh, so we are statistically staring down the barrel of another loss. Yes. Uh, but let's see how we go anyway. Good luck, Cam. I think these. I've got a good spread of questions here. Here's the number, Jack. Here we go. Hello, Stephen here. Oh, g'day, Stephen. My name is Paul. I'm just uh, calling about your ad in the Trading Post. Oh, yes. Yeah, look, um, yeah, I was, uh, I, I was hoping, um, it, just want to know, is it, is it the European model? Didn't know there was such a thing as a European model. Okay. 
Um, doesn't it, doesn't not, doesn't say specifically on there what. To... No, no. Um, the it's got a Australian it's got Australian plug on it. Yeah, yeah. No. Um, but, oh, good, good, good. That's but, good. Yeah, but I'm not aware of any. Um, of it being of there being a European model as yeah, that. God, that's good if it's got the Aussie plug. Um, so n- not worth getting a battery pack for it then. Just uh, plug it, plug it in. Just plug it. Always plugged in. Um, no, it's just, it's just plugged into power whenever yeah. we use it. Yeah, yeah we've yeah. never used a battery pack. Yeah, no good. I, I actually already have a white one. Um, yeah, but I was. What color is yours? Uh, it's the standard grey black. Great. Great, that's mm. good. Because um, I, I want a picture of me with my white one and your grey one. I'm gonna, uh, I do a lot of art online, and uh, I, yep. I just want it to be my Facebook profile picture with me, uh, yep. me riding both of them. I'd probably be able to ride both of them. Mm. Like I'm just sort of straddling both of them. Yeah. So you interested in popping around and having a look, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Um, I'd. Uh, Come around at well, what maybe this weekend? Is that convenient for you? Um, I will be home most of this weekend. Just give me a phone call. Um, it just beforehand, yep. just to confirm, and yep, yeah, should be fine. Would you would would you take a down payment? Um, would it be possible to test it out if you maybe take a down payment of five hundred bucks? Um, yep, yep. Yeah, great. Well, I'll um, have a, I'll come around and I'll grab the older. Uh, or the whipper snipper. This way, is it a whipper snipper? No, no, because it's a sort of it's an is it oh is it an ice maker? What is it? Sorry, the treadmill. The treadmill. <laughs> oh, it's not an ice maker at all. It's a hunk maker. It's a fitness maker. <laughs> See you oh, later, sorry, Tom. Steve. It's Hamish and Andy here, mate. We're just we're involved in a small game here where one of us picks an item from the trading post. The other one doesn't know what it is and. You can only ask five questions. You can't actually specifically ask what the item is. So, yeah, treadmill makes a lot of sense. Yes. What so, you were describing is perfectly a treadmill. So when you said, is there a European model, I thought uh, Stephen's right in saying, I don't know, mate. I don't think there's any, <laughs> any kind of European model. Sorry to sorry if this has uh, bothered you, Steve. On the other hand, good ad for the treadmill out there. Is $500 a good price for it? Yeah, it's not bad. Not it's bad. not bad. <laughs> not bad. Uh, well, mate, sorry about sorry to uh, if we've disturbed you at all there, but I was trying to trying to get another point on the board uh, for the trading post game. Have you heard of the trading post game? Yes, yes, I oh, have. You have, you have. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, now you've we, been part of it. Yeah. We mm. bought it back for one day only. Okay, then. Cheers, Cheers mate. Bye. 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 Hey, it's time for this game. What could it be now? The Umtree game. What could it be now? Using umtree.com.au but not associated with them. Yes, a new take on an old favourite, Ham. We used to play this game with the Trading Post, but the times have changed and so have we, Ando. Uh, we now play it with the website Gumtree. Here's how it works. <laughs> I've gone online to have picked out an item um, that's a slightly obscure item. Yep. You uh, We're about to call the, call the vendor mm. of the item. You've got five questions. Yep. They have to be... You can't actually ask what the item is. No. They've got to be ambiguous. After five questions... And however well or poorly the person's answered, you must guess, Ando. Yes. You must guess the item. <laughs> um, there'll be a little bell, this bell. Um, they won't be able to hear that down the line, but I'll know I'll have to have a guess. Yep. Jack's got the number. Are uh, you ready, Ando? You're calling someone called Vesna mm-hmm. today. Good luck. Vesna speaking. Hi, Vesna. It's David here. I'm just uh, inquiring about your ad I saw on Gumtree. Mm-hmm. Uh, what colour is this one we're talking about? Are the, are the pictures up there? Yeah, I've just got bad data on my phone at the moment. So I just, um, well, a friend of mine just texted me through your number. We've been chasing it down for a while. So I haven't been seeing the pictures. But yeah, if you could just talk me through it. Oh, they're just um, sort of like wood colour, you know, like a light. Yep, yeah, just a yeah. light tan, yeah. Yeah. Um, if, if I came around in my Hyundai XL, would it fit in the back? Would I be able to get it with the chairs down? Uh, Hyundai XL. Mm. Um... Maybe not. I don't actually know how big that is. That's what I'm trying to think of. I mean, they're surprisingly large. Um, right, okay. I, I just know yeah. when I... But I could lift them myself, or would I need yeah, someone Yeah, yeah, you could. I mean, there'd be someone to give you a hand to lift them, but... Great, um, Great. How, how, many, how many handles on them? I don't think that there's any actual handles. I think you've right. just got to pick them up and put them in. Underneath. Yeah, yeah. You just put your hand underneath and pick them up. That's how the kids have been getting them around, yeah. Hmm. Sure, and... 
if I dropped it, would it bounce? No, it's made out of wood. Mm. Wouldn't bounce. Yeah, sure. I, I would say bounce it. It'd have to be rubber. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rubber. Okay, I'll come around and um, and pick up the be good. remote control boats. Hang on, I think we've got a cross connection here. Sorry, what? Are you ringing about the ramps? The ramps. Oh. Yes, I was. <laughs> Sorry, Vesna, it's Hamish and Andy here. We're playing the um tree game. <laughs> Vesna, it's um, sorry, it's Hamish here as well. Um, I selected that item for Andy, and he wasn't allowed to know what it was. <laughs> so so I he was asking you. a lot of questions to try and figure out what the item was, which is why his guess was wooden boats. <laughs> so are you trying to tell me that I haven't got a sale? Yeah, sorry. No, I know, Vesna, but here's a good chance for a plug. Vesna is well, selling two skateboard or BMX ramps. Uh, give us a sell, Vez. <laughs> Anybody who wants to entertain their children and keep them busy, oh, come and get them. Mate, they look like bloody good little mini wooden They're ramps. Really good ramps. <laughs> Top quality. I sort of picked your voice. I'll be listening to you doing these naughty things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've also got a Harley for sale if that helps you. Oh, jeez, yeah, keep it going. <laughs> well, we, Annie knows now, so we can't play the game again with that. Oh, no worries. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Have Fesna. a good Bye. day, guys. Good job. Bye. Jeez, bye. Thanks. <laughs> oh, sorry, Fesna, would your Harley fit in the back of an Excel? Ask <laughs> He's gone. On Thursday, as we've only got, you know, two and a bit more weeks of broadcasting this radio show on this network. You're right. We uh, have been doing Throwback Thursday. People, uh, people of People's Show have been reaching out to us and asking us to bring back segments from yesteryear. Old segments, old games, and mm. if you listened last week, an and, uh, unsuccessful random John, yes. um, which is an old sport we used to indulge in. This is another game we used to play. We called it the Trading Post game. We're not sure if the Trading Post is still around. <laughs> so we uh, played this so long ago <laughs> that we had a paper edition of the Trading Post <laughs> that we would flick through and we enjoyed the rustle of the paper in the studio. Mm. Uh, it's been updated yeah. to the Gumtree game. Yep. And uh, essentially, Haim, what would happen is we go through Gumtree yep. or Trading Post. You pick out an item. Yep. I don't know the item, but I have to ring this person. I've got five questions I can ask about the item, and then I'll have a guess as to what it might be. I've got an item for today. Great. Um, we, we had an old song for it. We actually used to call it uh, Tell Them They're Dreaming. <laughs> is it gold falls or cheese or a sewing machine? How's the quality of that recording? It sounds like it's off vinyl. <laughs> it sounds like we're it sounds like we're we're off to World War One, and we're singing a jovial tune in the trucks as we head to the front line. And off they went. <laughs> and and happy they were at the time. A happy young bunch of Australia's <laughs> yeah. finest. Anyway, Ham, you got an item. I have an item, yeah. and uh, Jack's about to play a sound effect that you we won't hear in our headphones. So it's going to broadcast out, and it's going to tell everyone the item, mm. and then we'll jump into it. Okay. The item is a chandelier. There it is. All right. Is that happened? Go? Yep. All right. Okay. Here comes the number. Cheers. Hi, this is Deb. Hey, Deb. It's David here. Just calling about the uh, your ad listed on Gumtree. Yes? Yeah, just had a couple of questions, if that's okay. Yeah, of course. Um, first up, uh, what colour is it? It's black. Black, great. That's the one of colour I wanted. And, and it's proper okay. crisp, just to let you know it's not glass. This okay. It's an original. Um, okay. That's all right. I'll, I'll just go through my questions. And, um, yep. Uh, what year did this one come out? What year? Hmm. Ooh. We've been buying it for many, many, many years. Right, so it's a new one. Yeah, we can still, it's still current. We right. could probably still right. maybe buy one, but it certainly wouldn't be at that price. Okay. Right. Would I need to put it on my roof racks um, or would it fit in the car if I was coming to grab it? What sort of car do you have? Suzuki Swift. Oh, that's tiny. Yes, too small. Roof rack. Roof rack, that's okay. That's easy. You got, I can pack the rats, racks on. Yeah. Um, Big fitting. What material is this one made out of? You said it wasn't glass. It's a... It's glass- proper crystal, black crystal. Black crystal, is it? Yep. Okay. Yep. And how often... Would I need to service it? Like, clean it. Clean it? Yeah, how often? Well, the flip side is it's black. You know, it's not as if so, it's actual clear crystal because they can actually be quite hard to keep clean. Yes. That's fine. Um, That's fine. Okay, great. I'd love to pop past 
and see it, it being the vase. That's fine. That's not a problem. I've got matching wall lights too, just to let you know, so you can actually have a look at the wall lights. So it is a vase? That I'm, that's, is that the item? At uh, The chandelier? Chandelier, oh. of course. That actual, is, it is an actual chandelier. No, good, sorry. Um, uh, it's Hamish and Andy here. Hello. Hi. Yes. Yeah, sorry, I was playing a game called and, the Gumtree game where sorry, I actually don't know the item. And he and he wasn't aware of the item he was <laughs> trying to buy, and he got very very close because uh, it's like a series of vases with oh light globes God. in them that hang upside down off yeah. the roof. Black glass. Black, oh, you should see the chandelier, and it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so, Deb, apologies for my weird questions. Um, Certainly wouldn't need a servicing. You I wouldn't service. <laughs> you wouldn't service your chandelier too often. Um, no. If there is anyone that's in the chandelier servicing business, they probably the phone doesn't ring that much. I wouldn't think. Um, no, but Deb, <laughs> so lovely to speak to you, and thanks for playing along. Thank you very much. You'll sell it soon, Deb. It looks terrific. <laughs> <laughs> thanks a lot. Cheers, Deb. Bye. Bye bye.